You ho Is anybody home? Give me some emotes or something, man. It's Wednesday, which is kind of my Friday. Do you something. Ho is anybody home? Give me some emotes or something. Shut up, clone. I didn't ask for an opinion. Hello, hello, hello everyone from Miami, Florida. My name is Lewis and I'm your host for today's live build for CM. Um, we're gonna be getting to this. What? We got PJ here actually in the room. Say hi, PJ. You're the host every day. I am the host every day. Who's this gonna take who's gonna take this hosting responsibility? I don't know. PJ you wanna host? I don't know. He's he's building. Remember that one time you were in the hosting chair? I think it was for uh, the marathon. I did that, and then there was a for Halloween. I think that I did a live build with Kuzi. Yeah. And we switched. Yeah, you switched. And I was doing yeah, that was pretty funny. <laughs> so yeah, hello everyone. We're gonna be building a PC, and let's jump to the specs real quick because I always like talking about the specs immediately after going live. This is an Origin PC Millennium, powered by an 850 watt Corsair RM series power supply. Featuring EVGA FTW Z390 motherboard, so it's an Intel based system. The CPU cooler is a Frostbite 240mm all in one cooler. The CPU is an Intel Core i9 9900K 3.6 GHz with 5.0 GHz Turbo Boost on one or two, I think it's two cores, yeah, two cores 5.0. And finally, not finally, well, what am I talking about? 8GB NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080, not the TI. But it's a 2080. 32 gigabytes of RAM, 3200 megahertz, Origin PC approved. I think you can see it. No, it's not on the table yet, but PJ will eventually show you the RAM soon. And for storage, a one terabyte Western Digital Black SSD. That is the SN750 model. It's a tiny little uh, bubble gum stick, basically, of an SSD. And 12 terabytes of Seagate Barracuda Pro storage. P I see PJ is staring intently into the camera, but I see a bunch of people jumping in from CMC. I see a bunch of emotes. Hello, all, all of you. If I'm correct, I believe you guys call yourselves the Samly. Am I correct? Correct me if I'm wrong. Y'all about to school me in all the knowledge. And welcome and welcome. I see a ton of people joining up. Crucian, hey, how's it going? Samly, awesome. Excellent. I was trying to get my information correct, but welcome everyone. I'm glad you guys are here because we're about to get to it. Paige, you want to say a couple words before we start to the people? Yes, I will. I haven't been on in a while. Wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving if I forget to tell everybody at the end of this. 
That is Enjoy PJ, it, our builder. Eat, be merry, get plump. Thank you for the kind words. I'm going to mute you now until you got something to say. <laughs> Don't give me that look. You got to be doing stuff. I'm sorry, guys. Well, he's giving me the look. We're gonna have a, we're gonna have a good day today. PJ is look. He's staring at me, right at me, right at me. Uh, but for those of you just joining us, my name is Lewis. The builder, his name, he goes by PJ. You can see his name in the top right. And I'm just gonna be walking through what's happening over here on the build. PJ, go get get going. He's just standing there. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh oh, he's he's talking. Oh, he's he's talking. He's talking. Oh, there's a drill. See, that's why you're wondering why. <laughs> the drill is really loud, and when we have his microphone on, you can hear the drill. And for not to do that. All right. I know it's been kind of weird today because I was we went live. I want to say like eight ten minutes beforehand, and it's been kind of slow. I think it's because everyone's getting ready for Thanksgiving Eve. Which I don't blame them. I know myself I'm looking forward to the very long weekend and hope you guys are too. Um, speaking of long weekends, here I am getting ahead of myself. If you don't know, we sell PCs and it is that time of the year where we finally get to unload our Black Friday deals. Let me jump over here real quick to our website. Time to activate sellout mode because guess what? That's what I gotta do. That's what the paper to my right says, so I gotta do it. So. Our Black Friday deals are now live at OriginPC.com, so you want to check out our deals. They're up. They're live. Here's the wonderful landing page that uh, our team behind the scenes and I have put together for you guys to understand what is going on. Basically, if you spend, assist, or spend 3199 on your system over, you get three bonuses. If you spend under that number, you get two bonuses. Still, pretty good deal. So these are the bonuses. You get a $50 discount on select RAM kits or a free $50 Origin PC Visa gift card, or a free 250 gigabyte 970 EVO plus NVMe M.2 SSD, or a free Corsair Void Pro RGB wireless headset, or a free Corsair K55 RGB gaming keyboard and Corsair Harpoon RGB game mouse. Oof. So you gotta pick, if you're under this magic number, you get two. If you're over that magic number, you get three. It's pretty cool. So I like the RAM kit and the SSD, it's a good bonus. So, and of course you get ground shipping, interior lighting if you get a Cronus or Neuron desktop for a limited time, Remnant from the Ashes, which is an awesome game you haven't played it yet, and my friend Pedro. Oof. Oh, and that's right, you get these games too. If you get a Ryzen CPU, you get your choice of, if you get a specific Ryzen CPU, you can get either both of these games or one of the games, The Outer Worlds or Borderlands 3. So I think if you get the 30, yeah, if you get the 3800X, Ryzen 7 3800X, of the Ryzen 9 3900X or the recently released Ryzen 9 3950X, you get both of these games and three months of Xbox Game Pass. If you get a Radeon GPU, you get your choice of Ghost Recon Breakpoint or Borderlands 3. We also launched a special 0% uh, APR financing option for six months. Basically, you don't pay for six months. I don't recommend this if you're not ready to do this kind of thing, but if you are fully capable of paying off the system in six months, by all means, check that option out. And finally, our ready to ship systems are upgraded. They are ready to go and they're looking pretty spiffy. You can check those out at originpc.com as well. These are systems that ship out within one to three business days. So you can go check that out. Oh my gosh. One to three business days. One to three business to days. Three. I know it's crazy. I know the site says two, but typically if you go to customize, it says three. Or is this thing? Yeah, one to three. So there you go, friends. All right, all right, all right, all right. Back to this build. I'm sorry. I know. I sometimes get out of a... Uh... It's Black Friday, so I always have to be a little bit more excited for that sort of stuff. Because normally when I do the um, calling out the special offers we have on the site, it's like five seconds. Like, hey, go check out the offers. But it's Black Friday, so I kind of have to do my whole spiel. So I'll probably do that two more times during the stream. So I apologize in advance if you're used to that. So, yep, yep. All right. You got questions? Send them over. Um, what else do I got? Do, 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 do. Hold on. Hold on. I see questions happening all over the place. Let me catch up with the questions here because you guys were asking questions earlier. So I'm going to, I'm like, rewind and catch up. 
Does doing much spiel. The problem is when I do much spiel, I'm usually looking at this side of the screen, not on the, the chat side, so I apologize. Black Friday, Black Friday, Black Friday. Do, do, do. But wait, there's more. That, that really is kind of the thing there. Do, do, do. Where is my free PC? In the trash. No. Are those game boxes on the wall? Yes, they are. So a long time ago, our founders, um, if you don't know, used to work for Alienware. Um, and over the course of their Alienware careers, they amassed an incredible collection of games. That collection you can see actually on the wall. Um, it's almost kind of like a relic now if you think about it because PC games you don't really buy at the store you buy them online like Red Dead Redemption 2 for example it just came out a couple of weeks ago wasn't in Target wasn't in Best Buy wasn't in anywhere you just bought it online so yeah just a relic of the past for PC gaming is PC gaming is just more digital now that's just a fact so I think the last boxed I'm trying to remember the last boxed PC game that I bought and I think it was Black Ops 4 last year because Activision typically does release their games on stores so fun stuff do, do, do. I see Mr. B Builder has a table key item PC building but does he have any Swiss army knife and tweezers PC do you have tweezers? Swiss army knife and tweezers? I have tweezers but I don't need tweezers what would I need tweezers for? I don't know sometimes people need tweezers for their what builds Sometimes you need them, man. Maybe you drop a screw inside the system. You need to go pick it up or something. I don't know. Where is Diablo 2 on that wall? There is no Diablo 2. There's Warcraft 3. I do not see Diablo 2. But we do have uh, Diablo 3. And I think that's it. I'm looking for the other Diablo. That's pretty much no Diablo 2. I'm sorry. I know. I know there's a lot of history with Diablo 3. Diablo, Diablo 2. Oh, my gosh. My numbers are off. But yeah. Is that the sweet C spec scrolling at the bottom? Yes, you are correct. Actually, let me pull them up for you guys because I know a bunch of you just jumped in right now. Here is the build specs. So take it in, take a screenshot, do whatever you want with it. These are the specs of what's going into the PC today. HD Watt Corsair RM Series Power Supply, EVJ FTW Z390 Motherboard, our Frostbite 240mm all-in-one cooler, the Intel Core i9 9900K CPU, the GPU is an 8GB NVIDIA, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 and 32GB at 3200 megahertz DDR4 RAM. And the storage is 1TB Western Digital Black SN750 SSD and a 12TB Seagate Barracuda Pro hard drive. That is a ton of storage, I have to say. It is a very, very, very nice build, perfect for all sorts of PC games, VR, you name it. It is perfect. Um... That RTX graphics card is perfect. The 9900K is one of the best top, if not the top, CPU for gaming. So, honestly, that's a good setup for years to come. I know I myself am working on my own personal build, and I'm still trying to... Did you just laugh? He's laughing. PJ's laughing. Oh, personal guilt. Man. You know how embarrassing it is to go on stream and be like, oh, I got a 1060 and a 4th gen i7. Yeah, dual 90s is pretty good. 980 is better than 1060, I think. A little bit, but still, it's really good. So, hopefully that answers the question about specs. Let me keep going over here. Is the Eon 17X getting another refresh for next year for possible new GPU? I don't have any details about that yet, Black Ghost, but if we do do anything with the laptops, stay tuned to our social media and newsletters. I will say that CES is around the corner, so if we do have anything to talk about, January. That's all I gotta say. It's CES. It's historical. It's not like I'm giving something away. It's true. It's, if we got something to say, we're gonna say it's CES. Everyone's gotta got something to say during CES, so I mean, if we got nothing to say, I don't know. I don't know, PJ. I don't know if people have things to say. So, tweezers for sure can be useful. See, I agree with you. I agree with that. Do, 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 do. More for Sims. My next upgrade for my build is a one terabyte SSD. They are so much more. This weekend, let me tell you, I'm looking for parts myself this weekend. It's, it's looking real good right now for parts. So, do, do, do. I bought Civ 6 for the cloth world map that came with a physical copy. There you go. What is PJ using to drive those screws? So, he is using a 
power drill with a very low torque. Correct, PJ. I'm going to let him jump in and talk about his tool set. So it's the Bosch, correct? Mm-hmm. And why do you use a power drill? Because I know... Because when you're in manufacturing and you have a quota to build X amount of systems a day, you need to make sure that you can stay efficient and build your share of systems with, amongst the team uh, when, when you're in the assembly line. So... I learned to use a drill. I can mm -hmm. use a screwdriver, but I made sure that I purchased a drill that had the lowest torque possible so I wouldn't tear or damage any of the screws. Especially the motherboard. This drill in particular, the torque is so low on number one that I can actually build an entire laptop without damaging any screws, which I actually do. I use a drill when I build laptops. There you go. And do you but recommend people using a drill at home? No. If you've never built a computer before, and no, I would not recommend it whatsoever. Yeah. It's something that I've always said on stream is like, if you see this, don't try it at home unless you're super experienced and you know what you're doing. It's just, yeah, I've been doing this do for that. seven years now. Yeah, PJ's is super experienced when it comes to PC builds. So he knows a thing or two. A little bit, a little bit, a little I bit something. Some a little something, something, something. You can't wait to see the other side of the computer? I'll show you right now. Check this out. <laughs> Boom! Check that out. Empty. We're still working on it. The panels are, I believe, on the side, but we're going to show those off near the end <laughs> of the stream. Kidding. But that's uh, PJ doing his thing. So, all right, let me put him down before he starts going back to the drill, because I know it's coming. GPU prices seem down. Might grab a few my or grab, might grab myself a new one. ATX full or mid? I'm going to build my own PC in a week or two. Depends on your case. So. Obviously. Do you guys do giveaways? We do. Do we have one going on right now? No. What would I recommend? Pay attention to our social media. Pay attention to our social media. I can't say anything else. I really can't. I'm, like, I'm excited about what's coming. Honestly, this next one that's coming up is really cool. It is so cool. I'm like, because oh. normally the giveaway systems always come through and whatever. I'm like, ah, oh. eh, eh. This one is really cool. So if you're interested in learning more about our giveaways, uh, be sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, etc. Our social team will make sure you hear about this one. And if you don't, trust me, if you're not going to hear from us, you're going to see it being shared because it's a really cool system that uh, we're going to be giving away. That's all I can say. I can't say anything else. The one, the, the, that's, the, that's the one the, the thing one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. i mean it's it's not it's not it's not that one not that one but it's the other one it's the one before that yeah no i mean it's it's um before it's that. this one the, this color the, this color one. Oh, that one yeah, yeah yeah the one that's are actually back there yeah yeah just finished it yeah it's a good one it's nice and can't wait for you guys to see it it's nice and um, it, it's coming nice and then i will say vibrant yeah, it's vibrant them rgbs <laughs> but all I gotta say is I'm I am super excited about this. Them RJBs. I am pretty excited, but I can't say anything else. That's it. Because if I say anything else, they're gonna come in through that door and they're gonna kick me out. Actually, that'd be kind of funny. What if they do do that? Get out of here. So, all right, PJ, I'm gonna meet you again because I know you got the drill right, going. Also, <laughs> oh, you guys be doing a Thanksgiving giveaway. I didn't say that. That's what you said. I didn't say that. I don't know what you're talking about. You're going to get all the frames. Absolutely. Wait, that desk goes up and down? Freaking pro. So, so it does. This is actually a fun little project the team put together for CES last year. Um, they were talking about possibly doing tables and offering them on the site. But in the end, that decision did not come to pass. So we have this one table, and we're the only ones that have it. This is the only one. I mean, I know that there's other similar tables uh, around the world, but... <laughs> so actually PJ, PJ was just saying he lucked out because it's, it's our build table now so PJ can just happily you know, move stuff around it's great for building I think it's fantastic for because actually the majority of builders at Origin PC they prefer to stand while building mm -hmm. and you know that's a good idea I don't know if there's anything in the budget it'd be cool to get them all up and down tables that would be awesome that'd be great improved productivity dang it yeah, it's pretty useful for PC builds. Um, yeah, because I know for me, when I sit down, I'm like, oh, I just want to stand up, but the tables are, you know, usually, like, lower height. So you're just like, it oh. It depends on what I'm working on, because if I'm, I like to 
build, I'll stand up and I'll build a desktop. But if I'm working on a laptop, I'll sit down and work on a laptop. Mm -hmm. So, I mean... It depends. I just like standing when it comes to building. Or tweaking, or whatever. So... Are you guys going to show how to place the CPU and paste? I don't think we're going to do thermal paste today because I think we're going to use the pre-applied uh, thermal paste on the cooler, right, PJ? believe so. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. So we're not doing any application or anything like that. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. Depends. Um, but for today, we're just going to use the pre-applied. I know some people, they don't like using pre-applied. Totally understand that. Respect that. So, yep, yep. Everybody has their methods. You got your apply and paste and spread, and then you got your... Mark it dead center and put the thermal, put the heat sink on. All right, PJ, I'm going to swap cameras real quick because we're looking at your back, so we're going to look at this angle. I tried to do a little something cool here, but it didn't work. That's cool, though. Right there? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Maybe? I think that'll work for the people. If anybody says change it, I'll change it. What happened to Koozie? He is in a very far away land doing very cool things. That's my go-to answer. I actually talked to him the other day. He's doing good. He's doing pretty good. He's doing very good. He's <laughs> doing very good. Ordering the parts for my new PC tomorrow, can you please spray some magic so all arrives intact? I summon the PC gods to assist you in your parts. I hope everything arrives okay and no RMAs have to happen. You're welcome. No Irmas. <laughs> no Irmas. No Irmas happen. We don't want no Irmas. No Irmas. <laughs> so he's in jail. Who? <laughs> Captain Junkie, so he's in jail. Confirmed. <laughs> oh, Koozie? Yeah. Definitely in, definitely in jail. Definitely in jail. Definitely in jail. Let me check the other camera. It's kind of tricky because the thing is PJ is working very closely inside the case. I could try to stuff the camera right there, but right there. that's not really a that's ideal right scenario there. for him. Hello. So. I was looking for you, buddy. All right, all right. I'm thinking about getting a PC from you guys and doing monthly payments. But me and my wife are also getting new cars next year. Nice. Will me getting approved lower my credit score? That's a good question, honestly, because I know that we use um, what's the name of this platform? Getting approved lower your credit score. Hold on, we use uh. I trying to find it first mutual no talk to our sales team if you really want to know the precise answer because i'm not qualified in that answer regard is it a um, call our sales team or email them and ask them i know that we're doing for a limited time we're doing zero apr for six months so you can pay off the entire system within six months and not pay any interest as long as you pay off the entire system again i only recommend this if you're able to do that if you're not able to do that get ready to pay a lot of interest so just be careful um don't don't, don't be an impulse buyer yeah, don't. That's one thing. And the thing is, obviously, you know, we want, you know, we want your business. But we want your business, but don't do that. I always um, whenever I talk about financing or stuff like that, I always try to be careful. Like, don't get yourself in a hole. I really don't like it. And I know like we want you to be a part of the family. We want you to temporarily be a part. Of yeah, the don't don't put yourself in a hole. That's not good. So but if you're able to do that, the zero percent financing option that we just this is brand new, by the way. I haven't seen this happen. I've been working here for three and a half years -ish now. This is the first time I've seen this. Three and a half years? Yeah, man. It's crazy. Dang. Actually, let me jump over to the site so you guys can take a look what I'm talking about. It's actually kind of cool because I know they were talking about it. I'm like, wait a second. When is the first time we've ever done anything like this? But yeah, um, for a limited time, we're offering zero percent for six months and over a thousand. So. You can learn more by talking to our sales team and get that all figured out. But it's pretty cool. Again, don't do it if you're not capable of paying at all. Because sometimes, again, I see it happen all the time. Not with us, me specifically, but like in other situations, you know, personal finances, like they just totally like, oh, I bought something that was really expensive. I can't pay it now. And I'm paying like double the interest, and that's no fun. So. Yep, no, yep. I want you to enjoy it for years to come, not to be like, oh, okay, I had it for a year, now I got to give it back. Yeah, no, that's not good. All right, bomb diggity. I had to say the only reason why I would want to see that system come back is because you want upgrades. Yep, yep. Anything you would recommend for doing cord management? Um, Me. I guess <laughs> watching this build can help a little bit. Um, you'll see the way that PJ manages his cables. I'll, I'll try to get the Super camera. Super duper OCD. 
Yeah, he's very OCD. He's very particular about the distance. I think one of the key things is measuring the distance, like where it need, the cable needs to go and how much extra cable you have. Because sometimes you have too much cable in your side panel area, right? PJ, you don't want to try to have too much in that area. Nope, I don't like that. So you have to be careful about your measurements and make sure that it's just enough, like just right. Not enough that it's like tugging the, the, mother, the motherboard or anything like that. It's the right amount of distance. You don't I, hide, wanna... I, had a, I hide any and every excess cable that doesn't need to be seen. Absolutely. There's so, no point in seeing it. it it's not. There. If your case supports it too, because I know some smaller cases makes it a little tricky to do that. Um, that's where zip ties and careful planning comes in. But there's no tool or like anything that can really 100% assist with cable management. It's just you know trial and error mm -hmm. and practice. So it took me a good. I want to say a good year before I actually started getting very good at it. Mm -hmm. What about FlexBlade like QVC does? I mean, that's our um, payment option. Again, we use a third party for the most part for that. Again, our sales team is are the pros when it comes to that stuff. So you got to go check that out with them. I mean, we have our page up that helps explain some of it too, but our sales team is, the, they're the pros when it comes to that. Of course, it's also based on your credit score as well. So, because you got to not, not so good credit score, mm, it's not going to work. So, but again, I am not the expert in that uh, field. That is our sales. So, all right, I'm going to lower that. Do you guys have any PCs under 500? Unfortunately, user, we do not. We specialize in high performance systems, and it's got to be up the up and up. For lower price systems, my recommendation is always either to build it yourself or check out the pre built. I mean, of course, right? You always want to try to push for. Either go with us, but again, our ends, it's, it's out there. If you're going with us, it's expect to, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can't deny it, right? We can't just be like, oh, but you can do some cost cut. No. Call that, PJ's that's... cable management advice line if you're suffering from cable management issues. There you go. <laughs> Freaking cute cruise in the cloud. Yeah, you can't really, how do you call it? Like with Origin, it's, it's high end or bust for the most part. Like, our low end for a lot of people is actually a little per pretty high end for the majority. Like, let me take a look. Even our low end around. starts at, like... Mm. Yeah, it's 15K. Or not 15. Uh, 1,500. So, 1,500 for the Neuron, and that's with an i5. 9,600K. No, I didn't say i3 or 9,600. This is 9,600K. Yeah, you're not going to find any low end components on our website. And then we have, for the Ryzen Entire side, we have the... the best, uh, Ryzen 5 3600. So we don't even use previous gen stuff because I know right now in all the sales you can see like the Ryzen uh, 2000 or second gen uh, getting good pricing, but that's not what we do at Origin. It's the latest and greatest, as uh, people like to say it internally. Mm -hmm. So this is not. Oh, so you've heard that before? Yeah, I have. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I know. It's oh. crazy. Oh, I see what you're doing there, Mr. Lewis. Yep, yep, yep. So this is the high end. And I know, trust me, I've been there where you're just like, oh man, I wish I'd, but you have to think about like, what is my budget? What can I afford? What do I need? I think that's the best question to answer is what do I need in a computer? Um, Break it down from wants to needs because if you gotta, you gotta find, you gotta actually purchase the components you need first before you start buying the components you want. For example, let's say I want an i9-9800K or I want an RTX 2080 Ti. Do I need it? I don't know. I have a 4K TV. However, the 4K TV is a 60 hertz. I don't play... I mean, I play high-end games. You know, I've been recently playing uh, Sekiro, Red Dead, um, Destiny. So, you know, they're high-end games. But I think I could be fine with probably um, either an AMD Ryzen 7 3700X or an Intel i7. 9700k i think but you know and then with the gpu maybe an rtx 2080 like this build rtx 2080 super so yeah hopefully that answers that question all right well i see more questions popping up you you're finally awake whoa 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 no i keep seeing videos but i don't know why is that is that come making a comeback now what the skyrim meme you don't know what I'm talking about, PJ. You know, he doesn't I want to buy one of your RTX systems. Are they really solid for gaming? 
Absolutely. Hold on. We wouldn't put anything out that's not solid for gaming. So our RTS systems, which we just, this is like brand new updates, by the way. Like this is fresh off the f manufacturing floor Ooh. and a bunch of behind the scenes shenanigans. Ooh. So someone was talking about the RTS systems. Let me pull up the website. Pull up the so website. Let's scroll down here. So we actually have pre-configured systems, and these are getting our high-end builds. So this most popular Neuron RTS is actually the the one I was talking about. Like, do I want or the one that I want, not the one I need? Intel Core i9 9900K with the RTX 2080 Ti. This is our most actually our most popular configuration, uh, surprisingly. But there you go. Our fans and customers prefer to go with this loadout. Or configuration, I should say. Our best value system includes the i7 9700K and RTX 2070 Super. Actually, this is something that I would probably want. Like, the best value one is probably something that I would want. Or need, basically, for my system. We also introduced a special edition white Neuron RTS. So this uses special components that we don't offer on the configurator on our site right now. So you can't even configure the parts that are in this specific system. You can't even configure right now. These this are is specific the, only setup, to... And that's it. Yeah, that's it. So if you want to go check that out, that's also on the site. And we have a EVO 16 RTS laptop. So it actually is powered by a GeForce RTX 2070 Max-Q design GPU. But again, all that. These are great systems. Like, don't think that just because the price is a little bit lower than the most popular, this isn't, no, this is still really, really good. I wish I had this one. Let me tell you, people. Let me tell you. All right. Hopefully that takes care of the RTS one. I think they're solid for gaming, but the one that's overkill, but the one that people still continue to get is the most popular. I think the best value is a knockout, in my opinion. That can, you're set for that for at least four years or more, especially with the CPU. Oy. How easy do you think it is to clean that case? So we have a filter at the top. Um, it's pretty easy to clean though, right PJ? Let's see, there's the filter. Ta-da. So this thing gets caught up. You can take this thing outside, hose it off with water, let it dry back out. There you go. Stick it kind of reminds me of an air conditioning filter, doesn't it? Pretty much. Yeah. It's like the same material that they would use for an AC filter. You can yeah. wash this. There's also um, or the data back. Put an air compressor. An, uh, air no, no, not air um, compressor right to it and blow all the air out of it. So I'm not a fan of air compressors, but I am a fan cool. of the data vac. Have you seen this, PJ? I wouldn't put an air compressor to the computer. No, itself. no, no. This thing. Hold on a second. Pull it up there. This thing. Have you seen this thing? Yeah. No, this uh, thing is a beast. I actually I'd love to get one of those. Yeah, I would love to get one of these too. No, just for here in the. Uh, oh yeah, for oh, absolutely for here. For here? Yeah. I'm, why don't we have one? We should get one. <laughs> this thing is perfect. So I'm a big fan of the DataVac. DataVac is an excellent cleaner of PCs. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Google it. Um, basically, it's an electric duster. Oh, it's an electric duster that is perfect for electronics and cleaning out a bunch of dust that an air compressed air can just cannot do. It's a lot of power and it's safe. And you won't, your hand doesn't turn into an ice cube after holding onto the air. The <laughs> yep. The air canister for so long. What? Oh, it's that time. Right, I'm going to lower that. I bought my first gaming PC for like 650 euro, and it did the job for a couple years, but it's definitely on its way out, it seems. It's That's just the the case with PCs. Eventually, parts just don't catch up with the games you want. Like, for example, for me right now, Red Dead is that game. I love Red Dead. It is awesome. But, oh, man, it is a resource hog. Absolutely a resource hog. So, yep, yep. Do you guys just sell your components? We do not. Do, 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 do. What is your recommendation for a streaming PC on a two PC system? So it's changed over the years. Uh, a couple years ago, I would said it's CPU, like your CPU is very key. But now you can use NVENC encoding for your streaming PC. So if you get a pretty decent GPU, I mean, when I say pretty decent, you get a 1660 Ti um, and maybe an i7 or i5 or a Ryzen 5, Ryzen 7, and that's good to go. Um, I, w I wouldn't recommend spending over a thousand on a stream PC unless you want to do more than just stream on it. Um, what other people sometimes do is actually get a laptop to use on the streaming PC. Why is that? Because the laptop's portable. 
Okay. You can attach an external capture card and get a good GPU and a CPU Whoa, and a laptop. Calm down. You're good I was to go. just asking questions. Hey, man. man. I was just asking questions. You don't need to get all snappy. <laughs> that's that's what that happens when you give me that. Talking back to the oh boss. Oh my god. I'm no gosh. boss. I am no boss. I'm not talking to you again. No boss here. Too as muy violent. Hopefully that answers your question, <laughs> Chuck and Kyle. If we have any more specific questions for Stream PC, I'm more than happy to answer. Because actually here at the office, we actually have two PCs. We use a two PC setup. I know it's crazy. And we can actually do everything in one PC. I prefer the two PC setup for uh, redundancy. Especially when we're running a game stream. And it's happened before. It has happened before where something happens to the gaming PC and then the streaming PC at least is still running so the stream doesn't die. It's my personal opinion. I prefer having it that way. Um, so I like the two PC setup. I know a lot of people can do it all in one. It's totally possible. It's just redundancy for me at least. Is a jump from 100 hertz to 144 hertz truly worth it? Unfortunately, I am not the right person to ask that because I'm a 60 hertz pleb. Uh, again, like I said earlier, I play on 4K TV with a... It's actually a TCL one. So it's pretty good with 60 hertz, but I can't really answer to that. I know that people love their 144 hertz. They love it. They swear by it. And a lot of games support that uh, refresh rate, you know, like Counter-Strike, Rainbow Six, you know, the usual con uh, people. So people really like it, especially for shooters. I should probably give that a shot one day. Nah, I like my 4K TV too. I mean, maybe I can use my 4K TV for the consoles, but I don't know. Darren, hey guys, how's you doing? Doing great, Darren. I see you right in from Facebook. Hello, Facebook. Do, 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 do. Notice the slight improvements. 144 hertz is like a new set of eyes. Do you think I should get my PC parts now or wait until I have all the money for all the parts at once? So PJ just said, get them in the next two days. Or I would say, Cyber Monday. I would say this holiday period. So this week is a good week. Obviously, if you get a, if you find, so PC Part Picker has a price tracker. So if you find all the parts that you want, there's a price tracker that keeps track of like different stores and stuff. So if you find like the lowest, if the lowest that you're okay with paying with, right? I mean, don't be realistic. You're not gonna get. Um, Ten thousand dollar build. No, no. I mean, I'm, I'm saying like if you, you're not gonna get a RTX twenty seventy super for three hundred, that's not gonna happen unless you get it refurbished. But it's, it's not gonna happen. Maybe four hundred fifty, maybe four hundred, whatever you're comfortable with, then go for it. But what would suck? See, this is the part where it's difficult to answer that question because you order the part, you receive the part, but you sit on the part. And I've seen friends do that. I've seen people do that where they just buy the parts now and they sit on it. And then a couple months down the line, that exact same part is like $50 cheaper because they've been sat or sitting on it. So here we like to call it camping. Camping. You camping. On Are that you part. really calling camping on the part? You were camping on that part. I mean, I'm, I'm like a little tempted to do camping on my parts, but you know, I don't know. Man, why are you camping on that? Let me get that. Nah, man. I use a laptop now, but little need a little more room. Yeah, mm, yeah. If you want more storage space, a desktop with uh, large storage drives can definitely help with that. When using liquid metal, how do you prevent it from spreading onto the motherboard? Ooh. I don't use liquid metal. Yeah, we don't use that here. That's a good question, though, but I cannot answer. So do you guys do burn-in testing? We do. We do all the testing on all our computers mm -hmm. just to make sure they're this good to go. This one will receive burn-in testing. Mm-hmm. As soon as I'm finished with it, that's exactly where it's going. Dang, I'll have to go look at a local computer store to see how I can difference, see the difference between 100 and 144 hertz. Thanks. That's definitely a good idea for sure. And even better if they have games. I feel like games are one of the few, if not the only medium, that benefits from the high refresh rate. I remember a long time ago when TVs were first coming out with uh, higher refresh rates that for my eyes, I'm like, man, this looks well, weird. Your headache yeah, it, it, it looks really it. weird. But now it's like, oh, no, it's 144 hertz on PCs for, you know. Remember the first HD TV I saw? I think it was 720 at, like, a department store. And I was oh, just, wow. like, in awe. Like, yeah, that's crazy. Are and you that... kidding me? I wanted to put my hand through it. Yeah. Like, the better the TVs and better the resolution started coming, you would go back and look at a 720. Yep. And you're like, man, that looks like a, like a tube television. I don't want to see that anymore. <laughs> now it's scary when 8K is going to become a standard. It's slowly coming. So, like, 4K is eh, it's getting pretty adopted. And consoles and the PCs now 
support that resolution and now Netflix and Disney Plus and all these streaming services support 4K so I'm 100 Once they can so support it, you got to upgrade. Yeah. You got to get something better. Should I get it by the black RTS if I want to get a good gaming PC for 4 years? That is honestly the 4 that that's a good 4 year system. And if you're not happy with the graphics cards in 3 or 4 years, you could always what I always say, just sell the card, get a new card. Or find someone that needs a GPU, give them the 2070 Super and upgrade to 3 uh 30 series or whatever Nvidia is going to call the next generation or whatever. That's the cool thing about PC parts. Or or TTX is that you're not always 100% committed to your parts. I feel the the parts with the most commitment are the CPU and the motherboard. Because the CPU and the motherboard are pretty much like the core of the PC. The RAM, storage, CPU cooler, GPU, fans, all that can easily easily be replaced. So the GPU, honestly, I think the GPU is a part that you can easily just, you know, and that's it. Obviously drivers, but, you know, it's easier. Yeah, I'm a big fan of that uh, best value Neuron. I really like it. And then you get the Black Friday bonuses, too, which is pretty nice. You get two bonuses, though, because it's under the magic number. I like it. Do, do, do. Some good things are good to buy ahead, especially on a case or a PSU that comes up. I mean, absolutely. If you're happy with that price, if you're like, man, if tomorrow it gets cheaper by ten dollars, if you're if you, like, cause sometimes people are like that. It's like, oh, I gotta wait it. Or the other thing is, you can also return it too, if you're in a store, but or get price match. Or not price match, but price adjustment, because holiday season it happens all the time. I'm guilty of doing that. Of you know, I get I get something. And then two days later, it's on sale. I'm like, no, no, no. I want my $20 back. <laughs> I would totally go out of the way, go back to the store, and be like, give me my $20. <laughs> That's my lunch money right there. Ooh, they take your lunch money from they you? They take my lunch money. So, I'm at 75 hertz, 1080p. RX 580 can only do so much. I mean, it's a solid card for what it is. The problem with, with cards like the RX 580 and the lower tier 10 series cards and the 9 series uh, NVIDIA cards are just, you know... The games are catching up. And before in these live streams, what I've always done or I've always talked about is sometimes game games come around that require an upgrade. Or that will like you you feel like you would benefit more with an upgrade. And that time has come. Surprisingly, by Red Dead Redemption 2. Honestly, if you asked me two months ago, three months ago, and you told me like, oh, you think Red Dead Redemption 2 is coming out this year on PC? I'm like, no. Nah. Next year. Easy. And then come October, surprise. surprise it's out. Surprise. And I was stunned. Because two things happened like in a short time period. Doom got delayed. Which you're very disappointed about. I mean, I'm not disappointed. Because you are like Doom's number one fan. I mean, the shirt. It's Doom font. I got it at uh, QuakeCon. <laughs> I, I like Doom. And there's no secret. <laughs> there's no secret. I love my Doom. I like Doom. What do you want me to do? You know? Like... <laughs> Sue me. Um, but sometimes you have to delay games, and it happens. The game is going to... I don't want Doom Eternal to be like a Fallout 76 situation. I want Doom to be game of the year. I heard Fallout 7. Fallout so high. It was like super high expectations, and when it came out, it was like... I like super... Fallout 76, though, even with all the horrible bugs. Trust me, they were really bad. I had fun with it. I got my money's worth, surprisingly. I know a lot of people were very unhappy with it. I totally understand and respect that. I got my money's worth. I was very shocked. Did I beat it? Not really. But I spent a lot of time in it. I just wish the inter like the PvP interactions back then when it came out was, you know, a little bit better. And I wish there were NPCs, but they're working on that. So. I have a 20 Ti to push it, so I'm good. Oh, wow. Yeah, no, that's perfect. So I got my trusty 4790K and a heat damage GTX 970. Well, Ugh. dude, I had a 4790K. Those things run like a little beast. No, they're great. That's a great CPU. You know what one I had before? But prior to that, before I started, when I actually first built my first PC, everything was like a bunch of used handmade down parts. I had an i7 2600K. Ooh. And that thing was... Dude, I was running Battlefront on that. Two? With a 670. GTX Battlefield, or Battle, or Battlefield or Battlefront? Star Wars Battlefront. Okay. The Battlefront first one or the second one? Uh, first one. Oh. <clears throat> 
I think it's a good CPU. I had a 590 classified at first, and then that wouldn't take the game. The, the computer kept on crashing, so I switched to a six. Mm -hmm. Was it 670? GTX 670? Yeah. And the game played perfect, nonstop. The 580 is a great GPU for $500 builds. Yes, it is. I think it's great. I think it's a solid card. It still plays some games at ultra at 30 to 60 FPS. Oh, there you go. Yeah, the uh, 5,700. Uh, 5, Keep missing up that one. The best bang for your buck card is the 5,700 XT at the moment. We actually offer that on the site right now. But a lot of our people that order typically go with NVIDIA cards. I know that uh, that AMD card is getting a ton of uh, good um, goodwill from PC builders. So people like it. I wish I could use it, but I got my 1060 at home. I found a GeForce 2060 Super 8K byte uh, OC drop. Who's the create or who's the um, third party demon or DM demon? Because the thirty or the three hundred and fifty price point, that's close to MSRP to Nvidia's price. It's okay. I think it's a good deal, but I mean, I think maybe it can get a little lower, maybe. And I, I would like to also to know the um, how much of an OC they got on that card too. Halo Reach is about to drop. Oh, it is. I got Game Pass, so I'm good to go. Game I don't, Pass. I don't need to buy anything for ultimate the next three Game years. Pass. Yeah, I have Ultimate Game Pass ultimate. for three years. Super, super, duper Ultimate. So, Sorry. I played Gears. I still have to beat it, though. Um, I want to play the Outer Worlds, and now Halo is coming to PC. So, yay. I'm with you. I had a lot of fun with Final Fantasy 6. Might have more fun with it eventually. Uh, I don't regret it. Yeah. I mean, hopefully the updates make it, you know, hopefully change people's minds. A lot of, so I'm not sure if people remember, but when Rainbow Six Siege came out, that was a rough launch. Super rough. I had fun with the game, but it was rough around the corners. There's tons of problems with the network. Uh, sometimes you got to kill, like, totally not your, like, your, re like, it, the kill, your death was not your fault. It was very unfortunate. But they turned that game around, and it has an incredible audience. Another game, Destiny 2. Destiny 2 came out. Hey. For me personally, I played up until when Destiny 2 launched, I played up until the Osiris content or came out. And I was so disappointed by the Osiris content. I was like, this is it? That's all we're getting? And then eventually, you know, Bungie reformed. Forsaken was a godsend. I love Forsaken. Forsaken was awesome. And then Shadowkeep is a good, you know, follow-up to that. It's not as much as Forsaken, but you know, it's a good, steady, uh, pace of content and i like the rate too garden salvation is really fun so pj is currently working on those wires correct yep 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 everything is done in steps you don't just throw everything in the system and then expect to wire it you're gonna your head's gonna explode mm-hmm upgrading from gtx 960 and i5 64 Oh, I, I think that might be a typo, but 64, I'm assuming 6th gen. So RTX 2070S. Oof, that is a really exciting upgrade to 2070 Super and i7 9700 KF. Very nice, very nice. Enjoy. <laughs> Wish I could upgrade up my GPU. My wallet says go to hell every time I dare to look at it. I understand. I understand. Is there a way to find out which company made the RAM for Patriot? My motherboard can give a slight optimization. I don't know. I mean, one way is to maybe look on the actual memory chip itself. But I don't know. That's a good question. Running dual 1080 um, FE, I want myself. Still do okay. Ten, ten, okay, so I know we always uh, talk about cards and whatnot. The 1080 and the 1080 Ti are fantastic cards. Even today, I think they're great. Excellent, excellent, excellent GPUs. And if you bought them when they came out, that's probably one of the best GPU investments you've ever made, in my opinion. Like, honestly, for the price that you got your GPU for at the time, up until now, and that game, that card can still play games like Red Dead Redemption 2 and most likely Cyberpunk when it comes out, 
Good card. Very good card. Hold on, PJ. We can't see what you're doing. We're moving around. Moving the cameras around. There you go. Thank you. They were staring at his back. I'm like, wait a second. What's going on over here? I got a big back. You got a big back. You're working on those cables. People need to see the cables. This oh. is... They all want to see my back. No, we got we want to see the cables. That's what we want. Just won an our Quadro RTX the other day. Ain't got it yet. Quadro's good. Um, I mean, are you gonna use it for work purposes? I hope so. That's what the Quadro is really good for. It's for professional software rendering and all that stuff. I mean, personally, I wouldn't use it for games. You can play games on it, but I don't know. I would rather use a GeForce instead for games. If you're using it for professional reasons, then by all means, go ham. Quadra's good for that. MSI or Asus motherboard? For me, my biased opinion, Asus. PJ says Asus. I'm a fanboy. I think both are fine. MSI has MSI some cool features. MSI makes a great board. I just They're great. I prefer Asus. This is going to run Destiny 2 so well. It absolutely is. And I can't wait to see how it looks. I know for me, man, if I can upgrade and get that 4K Destiny 2 going, I'd be so happy. Everything will look great. But I'm with my 1060. <laughs> 1060 is good, though. It's good for 1080p, but it sucks because I got the 4K, and I'm like, oh, I want to play it in 4K. If I try playing in 4K, it drops to 30. I'm like, no. I got to have my 60 frames per second. No way. Mm-mm. Honestly, if I wanted a quadro card, I would sell it and just get more consumer hardware. I would do the exact same thing. Actually, we were talking about that the other day in the office. I was like, if I got a quadro card, I would sell it for a GeForce. So you have no use for that. Yeah, I don't. I don't use it for professional reasons, and like I don't have any reason to use a quadro card at home. Zero, none. But if I did, I'd keep the quadro. Obviously, but even but... with the rendering you do, you don't need a quadro. Oh, here in the office? Yeah. No, the CPU half is great. So, I got a Xeon in my workstation PC. So. Oh, so that's what you do. What? Nothing. <laughs> wow. Thanks, PJ. I love you. What's better, a gaming PC or a gaming laptop? For longevity, go with a desktop PC. If you travel a ton, and when I say a ton, I mean like you're out in and out all over the place every week, gaming laptop. <clears throat> I know there's been a whole bunch of discussion, especially for college students, um, if you should go with the gaming laptop versus a desktop. And I feel... If, I would, yeah, if you asked me a couple years ago, I probably would have said gaming laptop, but now that I'm a little bit older and knowledgeable with PC stuff, I would say go with a desktop and then go with a either one of like those uh, those budget laptops because you can game. If you wanted to game on the other laptop, you can actually get some pretty good laptops right now for Black Friday at really crazy prices. So, All right. All right. I see we got a lot of love in the chat. But no. I don't know where you came from. I don't know why you're here. But I hope you have a good Thanksgiving. I like your icon. That's the thing. I don't like your comment, but I love your icon. I hope you know what I'm talking who I'm talking to cuz you got me to respond to you. But, you know, I love your icon. I don't like your comment. Mm -mm -mm. It's a shame. Real shame. I don't remember if I can do this. Oh, okay. Do you recommend? Recommend? What, 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 what am I recommending? I don't know. I'm so confused. What do you want me to recommend? Movies to watch? I don't know. A lot of movies just came out. The list. What? <clears throat> Calm down. Don't don't get me started about movies, cause I'll I'll go ham on movies. I love my movies. There's a couple movies I want to see though. Um, I can just list them out. Be like, oh, I want to see this. I want to see that. I want to see this. So, I know the one that I really want to see. That's gonna be tricky to kind of watch in theaters, but I'm just probably wait till it comes on digital. Is a parasite, foreign film from Korea. Sounds really interesting, really interesting. 
Frozen 2? I'm going to see that. See that this weekend. What? What do you mean, what? Saying, Frozen, what? man. Frozen, son. Snow glows wide on the mountain tonight. I'm not a footprint. Don't get me started about Frozen. Don't do not do it. Don't do it. Team please. Elsa, man. Please, no. Oh, please, yes. No. <laughs> People are laughing. <laughs> he knows it for it for what I do. <laughs> I totally do. Uh, Crucian, bro. Come on, save me right now, dude. He's got this look in his eye like he's ready to go full hand. I'm just writing this like repeat for the next hour. He's got this crazy look in his eye. <laughs> <laughs> My friend told me never to watch Frozen again. He told me to let it go. Let it go. Oh, no. Yeah, buddy. Elsa, the best girl. Absolutely. Had a faulty main board, which couldn't run dual channel anymore. Tried to work it out with Gigabyte. They straight up deleted all tickets. Whoa, that's no good. I'll call him. Wait, how? What? Grown man watching Frozen. Please tell me you watch it with your girlfriend, wife, yeah. kids. I'm watching with friends. Yeah, his homeboys. <laughs> yeah, my homeboys. We're going to go be like, oh, so, oh, so. Uh, <laughs> they go grab a bunch of drinks and <laughs> go watch Frozen. Hey, man, I think Ooh. what I would love to do, like, no lie, is to go to Epcot. I still haven't ridden that ride because, you know, they have a Frozen ride in Epcot, right? At Epcot? Yeah. Why? Why not? When all the rides are at Disney, Magic Kingdom. The, the Epcot has rides, too. No. It's got Test Track. You don't no. like Test Track, bro? Test Track is awesome. Test Track. Test Track is awesome. It's like, it's, it's, I mean, sure, it's not a convertible, like an actual, you know, Corvette or something, but it's a fun little That's ride. Test Track. Test track is fun. Test track. So. Joker versus Elsa. Who wins Elsa? Duh. <laughs> BJ's just like, no. No, just. It's, this, it's five bay hot spot. What's your favorite comedy movie? My favorite comedy movie? Oh, dude. I don't want... <laughs> I can't even begin to start. I can start one. listing go, a bunch of one. Just say one. Tropic Thunder. I was going to say the same thing. <laughs> Swear to God. I was exactly going to say it. Tropic Thunder. Swear to God. Me. Tropic Thunder. You can't make Tropic Thunder <laughs> right Tropic now. Tropic Thunder is awesome. Oh, you man. You can't make that game. You can't make that movie right now. It's just not happening. When I was in the theaters and I saw that movie, I was crying so much. <laughs> just Even just thinking. I'm laughing <laughs> thinking about it. Just the trailers. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Tropic Thunder was an event for me. It was just like... A renaissance of just like so much happened in that movie that it's just like so much awesome it came out at the perfect time i think it came out at the perfect time yeah if it would have came out any later mm -mm. no mm -mm -mm. how about the mandalorian i need to watch the mandalorian i am all about this baby yoda fad but, but I he's am... not Yoda, so he's not a baby Yoda. They're gonna they call him Baby Yoda. But he's not a Yoda. I know he's but the thing is I asked my friend who is extremely Star Wars literate, and there is no name for Yoda's race. Nope. There's nothing. I'm like, wait, what? Like in all the Star Wars lore, there is nothing about that. I'm like, that's insane. I thought there would be, because you know, there's uh, all these races in Star Wars, like the one like the pilots. If you always if you watch the Star Wars movies, there's always like different alien pirates and stuff. Um they have their specific races. If you notice, you watch Star Wars, there's no Americans. <laughs> <laughs> Not even the human being looking beings are Americans from Earth. They're from... What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? I'm, I'm not laughing. I'm laughing at like, what does that even mean? Uh, I don't know. I'm just talking smack. It's humanity. It's humans. Even though, are they really humans? Because of the midichlorians and the fort... Anyways, I'm getting way off topic. See? About... You see? Now I'm getting you to think. Are they really humans? <clears throat> Let it go. Let it go. Oh, I got PJ to say, yeah, buddy. Uh, what do you mean, you people? <laughs> there you go. That's such a good line. I always like using that whenever someone uh, says, like, you guys. I'm like, what do you mean? Talk to you later, Kangaroo Jack. <laughs> <laughs> that movie. Can you send me a PC for Thanksgiving? Can you send me a PC for Thanksgiving? Thanks. I'll post my address below. No, no. You do that. I'll, post I'll be sure to send That's... you a PC. Oh, thanks, PJ. Appreciate it. Fifty year old Yoda PC custom build. Baby Yoda build. Make it happen. 
There is another of Yoda's race in the Clone Wars. I think that's yeah, that's it. That's all the um, the only other race that shows up in the entire Star Wars series. I think there's one in Knights of the Old Republic, but I cannot remember for the life of me. Um, someone could probably jump in who remembers that game more than I do. Could probably verify that. Do, 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 do. Was here two years ago. Didn't know anything about computers, and I asked what is different. Oh, I was reading it. Oh, where did the question go? I asked what is different from the GPU and the CPU. So the CPU handles all the processes behind the scenes in your computer. So it doesn't really deal with anything graphical. So that's really the ba the most basic way of explaining. I'm explaining in like the most layman's terms. The GPU is all about graphics. If you're running a game or anything that involves graphics, so that could include Photoshop, include games, you know, say uh, Counter-Strike, the graphics are the things that you see that are like 3D objects on the screen or 2D objects, that's the graphics. So you need a GPU to run high graphics because the calculations needed to run graphics can only be supported by GPUs. That's the way it's designed. So it's been running for years, all, except if you're talking about the in, uh, Intel onboard graphics, but those aren't really that good. Um, that's, just, yeah, that's just simply just to get you up and running. Yeah, pretty much. That's why people sometimes, because there's a, what's called the KF processor. Someone in the chat actually mentioned they got a 9700 KF. So the KF processor is an Intel chip, but there is no graphics on board. So if you don't care about graphics on board, the KF is a good option. You save like $10, $15, but it's savings. You can use that money towards something else. So hopefully that explains it. I know there's a bunch of guides online that uh, help explain the difference between CPUs and GPUs. But the, for the most part, the CPU handles all the processes, especially the OS. The OS and the CPU are like buddies. They're there they're, they're all the time, always doing stuff. Um, software, too, also requires CPU. Games also do require good CPUs as well. Um, but there's better explanations online, and I cannot provide that. I'm just providing the basics. I hope that helps. Do, 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 do. Oh, th um, I'm dummy. I'm here answering the question, but you came here two years ago. I'm dumb. I'm a dumb dumb. <laughs> Americans made their own galaxy even further away. <laughs> 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 I believe that. I could see that happening. In, the, in a galaxy far, far, far oh, away. Real far from away. <laughs> from, from everything else. Further away from everything else. Yeah. Everyone's saying that. What do you mean, you people? <laughs> See, I'm glad that people still like really like that movie. It is honestly one of the best comedies. It's so good. You know what's another really good comedy? Which one? Strange Wilderness. <clears throat> oh, I never saw that one. It's an Adam Sandler. I know. It's an Adam Sandler directed movie because he's not like necessarily in it. But that movie is holy crap! That movie's hilarious. Hold on, I'm looking up something. Yeah, so I was right. There is, I totally right. Thank you for uh, shouting out exter Exterminator. I knew it. There was, there was a Yoda-like character in Coder. I remember that because I distinctly remember like, hey, that dude looks like Yoda. <laughs> so Master Bandar. Or Vandar, it's Vandar. Vandar Takare. So now you're just making things up. No, it's a real thing, no. dude. Oh, don't make me bring no. up. Don't make me do it. No. Look. I'm not looking at anything. Look, I'm busy. Look, I'm building computers. Look, look, I'm building look, look at that. lovely look, lady's look, computer look, here, look, and you want me to look at fake look, Yodas. Look at Yoda. You're just making look, up. Yoda -like I just person. saw you draw that on look, paint. Look, that, I did not draw that yes, on paint. Yes, you did. <laughs> I did not draw that you on paint. You drew that right now on paint. Look, this is an actual character in yeah. Nice of the Old Republic. Yeah, an imaginary character. Wow. Wow. I mean, granted, it's not canon anymore. But wow, I know. love that how you would just make things up in front of me. That was just saying, man. That was friends, Lewis. Just saying. You know, friends, F R. Ends. Oh, I'm trying to catch up with all the comments here. Do 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 do. Master Vandar. I thought we were friends. The events and games have never been official, even pre Disney takeover, making Storylines Legacy. Oh, man, and I love Jedi Knight. That's my boy right there, Kyle Katarn. That's my boy. Yeah. Well, he's not coming back. PJ, <laughs> I don't like that comment. <laughs> That's my boy Kyle Katarn, man. Rest Kyle's awesome, peace. man. 
<laughs> so I'm not sure if you guys played uh, the new Star Wars game. It's really, really good. I beat it. I know if I, I know some of you were here during that stream watching me struggle with Grandmaster. I beat it on Grandmaster. I'm really proud of myself. So you like die like 50 zillion Shut times. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I beat it. And my only thing I wish is like, man, like I wish there was a little bit more added variety to like the comment. Now I'm playing Sekiro because I was I really like the gameplay in uh, Star Wars Jedi. But I was like, oh, man, I got to play more of this. And people are saying, like, Wait, oh, it's kind of similar to Sekiro. Sekiro? Sekiro. Sekiro. Oh, Sekiro. It's a movie. No, it's a game. It's Sek a poster on the wall that we're that's next to the, the, the Neil's office. Oh, it's not? Yes, you always want. <laughs> <laughs> we have a poster of Sekiro in the office. Shakira? And PJ. Sekiro. Is that how you pronounce it? Hold on. I got to find confirm this for myself because people were laughing. Someone made a comment on Twitter or something saying like they like uh, Sekiro and because the thing is people have to pronounce it on stage for the Game Awards and they're hoping that people are going to mess up the pronunciation every single time. Like, how do you pronounce it? I don't think I'm saying it the right way, right? <laughs> pronunciation. How do you pronounce it? All right. Let's see, YouTube. What, what you got for me? What you All got? Right. What you got, YouTube? Sekiro. Sekiro? Is that it? Shakira? Sekiro. Like the Sekiro. Not Shakira. Oh. Sekiro. Oh. Is that it? <laughs> Sekiro. Shakira. The Sekiro? Sky Sekiron? <laughs> Sekiro. That, like that's how that you say one. it, right? I like that. Who, who said that? Did somebody Sekiro. say that? That's so how you say it. Sekiro. Oh, I'm losing my mind here. This is what happens when you're locked in a room trying to build a PC talking to a bunch of people. On the on the internet, you lose it. Shakira. Shakira. <laughs> Stop. Stop. All right, let me continue answering the questions. Not too much of the Star Wars movies, but thoroughly enjoyed Jedi Fallen Order. I'm telling you, man, it's really good. Um, I like. I went ham on that game over uh, not this past weekend, but the weekend before. Went ham on it. Beat it. Yodas are so rare in Star Wars; they don't even have actual name for the race. It's true. Guys, I have a question. Should I buy a better graphics card or RAM? Because when I play, actually trying to start a game with Overwatch, it takes too much to load in the characters. What are your specs? Might be. Uh... It could be multiple things, actually. Uh, Guzza over on YouTube, just post your specs, and I can try to identify what's the source of the lag. So, because I mean, normally RAMs aren't really the source of laggy performance. If anything, it's between the CPU or the GPU. Do, 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 do. Even before the Disney takeover, there were three or four storylines that didn't match up. It's very true. Only well connected when the tr original truly just true. Because I remember I was talking to my friends and they were like, oh, what about this storyline? But like, wait a second. This storyline takes place at the same time as this storyline and involves the same characters. You need to see that rant that Freddie Prince Jr. goes on about Star Wars. Oh, man. <laughs> that rant. It is I so good. I died laughing. Dude. It is so good. Has it's anybody great. seen that? If you haven't seen that, you it's need to really look funny. It right now. <laughs> so, that guy will. That guy will ruin everything you thought about Star Wars by speaking the truth. He voices a character in the show Star Wars Rebels, so he he's in he's in the crew. Like he is part of Star so Wars. He literally sat down with George Lucas. Yeah. And, like he worked with the team. Like yeah. he is not just some schmo. Like Freddie Prince Jr. He owns one of our PCs too, by the way. <laughs> it's true. It's actually a fact. Um, That's right. He does. He does. That's right. Yeah, he does. He's an Origin PC family member. He is. He's on their uh, setting everybody page. straight with their Star Wars facts. Yep. It's time for a nice Terminator game. I'm hearing a lot of good things about the Terminator game that just came out. I think it's called Terminator Resistance. Is that the name of it? Terminator Resistance? It's the name of the movie. No, 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 no. It's it's a game. It just nope, came nope, out. Nope. No, it looked. Nope. nope. PJ. Uh uh. I'm about to school you. Uh, you're talking to a Terminator fan. Terminator Salvation is the movie you're thinking of. <laughs> Terminator Resistance is the game. I like Dark Fate, by the way. Dark Fate was pretty good. Yeah, turn look, 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 look. What's this? Oh, it's it looks a like game. Uh, something you drew. Oh my god! Man, you can easily get Omar to do that up in Photoshop. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving Eve. <laughs> It's like, happy Thanksgiving Eve. My feelings are hurt. I got a headache. I got a headache. <laughs> you got a, a headache. I'm burning. I'm burning. Oh, that's another funny movie. Uh, 
Um, um, was it the Heartbreak Kid? No, it's not the Heartbreak Kid. Is it the Heartbreak? Yeah, Heartbreak Kid's funny, but it's not that one. That was, uh, Along Came Polly. I never saw that. Oh my god, dude. Oh, man. Then I feel like an old man right now. I'm the old man, I guess. <laughs> Could you recommend a comp comprehensive guide to choosing PC parts for gaming on YouTube? There's a bunch. Um, so, like, the top guys on YouTube right now, like, you know, Linus, Bitwit, Paul's Hardware, my cousin Gaming Nexus. <laughs> um, <laughs> Your cousin is Gaming Nexus? Paul's. I already said Paul's. Jay's Two Cents. There's so many guides out there. It's very, you know... There's a ton of stuff. I mean, even on our site, if you see, like, the builds and the prices that, you you know... Remember, ours... Building it yourself will be cheaper than us. That is a fact. You don't need to rub it in. I know. PJ knows it. All of us here know it. But the thing is, remember, we offer the full support, the service, the whole thing. It's not just... And also the professional PC building, like you see PJ emulating. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You, know, like, you can build it, and it'll run. That's, Absolutely. That's fantastic. But if you wanted to look like this... And run like you really want it to run. You gotta hit us up. Will an i7 4700K bottleneck an RTX 1660 Super? No, I think it'll be fine. I mean, the CPU is getting old though. I think it'll be fine. I mean, I'm running a 4770 uh, regular with a 1060. There's no bottleneck. You got a 4770? Yeah, man. That's a nice CPU, dude. I mean, it's great. I thought like when I bought it at the time, I got a really good deal on it too. So, we talking about Freddy? Or, wait, wait, no, I'm trying to remember. No, someone's talking smack about. Oh Freddy? yeah, Fre yeah, yeah, Freddy, uh, Freddy Prince Jr. Because he went on a Star Wars rant. Put in because the... everybody's. He said that everybody's mad. Star yeah. Wars fans are mad that that that, that the storyline doesn't grow up with them. It's like it's not supposed to. Grow it's up not with supposed them. to. <laughs> like the first one was for kids. The second one was for kids, and <laughs> it's like, what do you, what do you want? I mean, uh oh, is that Freddie Prince Jr.? Yep, he's calling me. Oh man, let him let him drop the beats. Let him drop like tell everyone be like, hey man. But I agree with him. I agree with Freddie, because he's totally <laughs> spitting facts. It's true, man. People getting angry about the movies and stuff. I mean, one thing that I will give the team currently over at Lucas is that they're let at least, at the very least, they're expanding Star Wars to different mediums right now. Kind of like they did a couple years ago. Like, Fallen Order, awesome. Mandalorian, I haven't seen it, but a ton of people love it right now. You know what? I'm not, I, I won't ruin it for you, but you know what I like about it so much? Is that it reminds me of the, uh, <clears throat> or like the one, uh, Return of the Jedi, that, that, mm -hmm. that whole vibe that it gives you. Yeah. That's, that's the environment. See, that's good. It's like the movies, I feel like, are the easiest access to Star Wars media. And it's done it's by John forever. Favreau, so you know you can't go wrong there. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, John Favreau is a man. Swingers? <laughs> Watch out. I'm going to get him started in Swingers. How about that Swingers movie, huh? PCH? <laughs> you ever seen that? No, I haven't seen it. Uh, PCU. Yeah, PCU. PCU? Yep. That was the first movie I ever saw him in. It's got Jeremy Piven in it, John Favreau, David Spade. PJ likes all that stuff. I like a lot of movies, dude. So, Freddy's actually a good friend of mine. Oh, there you go. See, see, he's friends with uh, Freddie Prince. No, That's you're great. not. Yeah, she is. I want to see a picture. Right? <laughs> I want to see a picture. Show me a picture. <sighs> you and Freddie. You together. don't have to do that, CM. He's just being pushy. I believe you. Hi, Brian. Hi, Brian's in chat. Which one? But Jesus? Yeah, Beezus. But Jesus. <laughs> he's up there. But Jesus. But Jesus. Is a good case worth it? Is Some people are perfectly case? fine with like a monolith, like a regular black box, no RGB, as long so the case has to have good ventilation and this enough space for you to work in. I would say you got to use it, relate it in the car world. There's function over form, and that's then there's true. form over function. Yep, that's a good way of putting you it. You got too. guys that want straight performance out of their cars, and they don't care how the car looks on the outside, and they yep. just put all the performance in the inside, and they rock it. And yep. you guys that want to be all fly and flashy, and they put the wheels and the suspension and. So there's form over function and function over form. Yep. Where do I post people it? People like to mix it all together. I'll see me. You have you have VIP. You can just post the link. I'm waiting for. Hi, you to Daddy. <laughs> this is like high PJ. Oh, you see it right, right there. 
All right, so I'm waiting for the link. Yeah, sh- uh, your VIP She's shooter not going to send a picture. She's going to post a picture. She's going <laughs> to school you, and I'm going to be like, ha. Ha. That's some fantastic Photoshop work. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Don't listen to PJ. Don't listen to PJ. He's slow talking. I'm caught up. I'm caught up. I'm yes. sorry. The thing is, I'm taking, like, so much time on every single comment. Like, I'm very, today I'm very into everyone's comments. Normally, I'm usually faster with the comments, but I'm, like, really into everyone's comments. So, I appreciate you guys sticking along for the ride for this. So, I know these live builds. What? What are you you saying? What? (laughs) Saying stuff. (laughs) What? I didn't say nothing. She's talking about the case on my end. So, I'm caught up. I'm caught up. Fully caught up. I'm slow. Oh, don't make me bust out the Sonic out here. We go supersonic right now. You're on not you. gonna go super nothing. I love you though. <laughs> Lewis. Hey Lewis. Love you. No. <laughs> no. Everyone's laughing at the slow comment. You're too slow. I am taking the time to like discuss everyone's comments. It's great. So, what is your guys's cheapest PC? Uh, it's our Neuron. It comes in a thousand five hundred, and that's the cheapest because we offer high-end parts. If you want the cheapest PC, you have to go with yourself. Build it yourself. I can go with it with yourself. Build it yourself. Or, but I missed your comment. Oh, I'll post it again. If I missed it, post it again. I'm sorry. Sometimes I was going really fast. Like, am I? Wait, where is it? Slow switch rise. I said that one. Just post it again. Hypersonic. <laughs> if you want a cheap high airflow, it works. Sonic before fan backlash or post backlash? Post. Duh. Man, I was. So I really like Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic, I, I grew, Sonic was one of my first games. And I have been through the worst with my boy. My boy in blue. And You're the only one that was hurt? Bro, when that trailer first came out, I was so... My friends... All of my friends messaged me. They were like, dude, don't watch, watch the trailer. <laughs> Are you watching this? <laughs> so watch like, the trailer, seriously? Like... Well, but Remember the before and after of Sonic? Because the original version... Man... That was nightmare fuel. It still is nightmare fuel. It's horrifying. So, but the new one, I think they there's such an improvement. And I know there's a bunch of conspiracy theorists that are saying, "Oh, it's a marketing campaign." I honestly, legitimately believe they had to like get the team back, and we're like, "No, we have to fix this." And I thought they did a good, really good job. So. I feel like the chat's moving real quick right now. There we go. No, it's not. I'm being a clown. All right. His arms are still full blue. Eh, forget about it. <laughs> I'm not that up in arms about that. I know some people are. I understand that. I understand that. But, you know, I think it's fine. It's, 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 would you rather have old or new? Come on. That, that's an easy answer. Easy. In your opinion... Is it better to get water cooling or fan cooling? Honestly, both are solid options. Uh, water, so liquid cooling, all-in-one liquid cooling, which is what we're using in this build today. Um, I'll see him coming in with the, hold on. I'm going to pause everything and to prove, oh my gosh. Let me heart that and retweet that thing right there. Bam. Look, PJ, look at the facts. It's right here in front of you. Look, man, that's a cardboard cutout. Oh dude. my God. Thank you, Sam. See? I appreciate it. Look, look at it. They're talking. How do you fake that? How do you fake that? How do you look at that? You can't fake that. Dude. You can't fake that. Dude. Dude. You can't fake that. I saw the guy from Key and Peele be Barack Obama. Oh, you see? I stand corrected now. Thank you, Sam. I retreated and hearted it because... Thank you. Thank you. You know what you can believe is that I'm building this computer. (sighs) He's just being rough. He's being he's being rough. <laughs> Anyways, back to the water cooling question. So, what, liquid cooling is good if you want to do overclocking or high end like thermal output on your CPU. Uh, fans are great though. 
I like fans internally at Origin PC. None of our systems, I think, yeah, even our RTS systems do not use fans. Everything is um, all in one liquid cooling. A couple of years ago, is our a couple of years ago, we are liquid or oh, yeah. our RTS systems <clears throat> had fan, uh, fan cooling for the CPU, but not anymore. So, so how water cooling works? So the way look, I, there's a bunch of uh, okay. I'm going to try my best to explain it. Stick with me. There's better explanations online. I always have to put my forewarning. <laughs> so the way liquid cooling works is that there's liquid. Actually, PJ, can you show? Because you have the liquid cooler. The AIO cooler? Yeah, How that... does it work? Yeah. Think of a car radiator. Yeah, just hold it up so you can you show the in and out. Oh, the direction of yeah, power? Yeah, the direction, out? like the, the cooling. Well, it's I was a radiator like, itself. Okay, so PJ's going to help explain. So you see the pump? There's your, there's your heat sink. There's a liquid. It's all liquid cooled inside. If I'm shaking, if you can really get in here, you can actually hear the liquid. Yeah, you can hear it. Moving around in here. So now you can see the radiator it, right there too. The idea of it is once you have the pump plugged in, the pump's gonna cycle the liquid through the uh, through the radiator itself. When you have the fans attached to it, depending on what setting you have on the computer, you can have the you can have the motherboard itself ramp up in high speed on the fans uh, upon the system gaining heat, like when you're playing a high intensity game. So what it does is depending on the direction. What I'm gonna do is I have the direction flowing this way so it's gonna intake liquid hold on move the camera air up. into the top i'm sorry can't see it. Cool it and then this fan here in the back there you go right here i'm sorry the air is gonna come in from the top so it's gonna intake the heat that's inside the computer is gonna pop out the back so there's an intake exhaust there's a flow exchange in this way so it's just like a car radiator you have two fans on top of it once the car starts to heat up the fans kick on mm -hmm. to cool the car off itself same concept. So it's a loop of cool liquid and then hot liquid. So the cool, cooled liquid goes to the CPU, picks up the heat. It Actually, it's heat transfer, basically. So it takes Correct. that heat, brings it up to the radiator, and moves that heat temperature through the radiator. The fans cool it, and it's a loop. Hopefully that explains it. PJ did a good visual explanation. That's why I wanted to have the visual there, because if I'm here, I'm going to be like, oh, and I'm going to make zero sense. But that's basically a very rudimentary version of how all-in-one liquid cooling works. Uh, clo um, custom liquid cooling is a little bit more complicated. Same concept. It's still the same process, though. The reason it's a little bit more complicated is because the tubing and there's um, the reservoir involved, which isn't that bad, but it's definitely more an exotic Yeah, you're, uh, that, then you're just getting customization really option. You're not really going to see so. a huge difference in your cooling setup. But you will see a difference. I'm not going to say you won't, but... PJ, PJ, it's hot in here, baby. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> it's getting hot in here. I'm actually sweating. It's hot in this room. What are you it's... telling me, Mr. Lewis? I'm telling you, it's hot. So... How about GPU liquid cooling? We also might have to move the cameras, too, because you're... Yeah, you're working on the back. I move the camera. There we go. Please move me. Oh, no, I'm shaking. Uh. There you go. Both use a heat spreader plate, a radiator, and a fan system. Is this really water versus copper and aluminum PVC pipes? It's true. Is liquid cooling needed for regular gaming streaming? Not really. You can go fine with a fan. Again, here at Origin, we use almost exclusively all-in-one liquid cooling, and that's mainly prefer for performance, and also because we have our all-in-one liquid coolings with our logo on it, and it looks kind of cool. You can't really do that with a fan. I mean, you can, but, you know, it's not needed. Can you get better? I mean, it's like a pinch of extra performance, and there's videos out there that help explain the extra pinch of that performance between liquid cooling and uh, air cooling. Air cooling is perfectly fine. Though. I'm not here, but air cooling sucks. It does not. It's perfectly fine. I use air cooling at home. It's great. <laughs> Custom water cooling is for complete idiots. Trust me, I am one of those idiots. It's not that bad. I mean, I wouldn't personally run <laughs> with cooling, but people really like it. It looks very nice. It's extremely... I think it's a little, a little more high maintenance than a regular PC build. Mm -hmm. Because you have to keep an eye on the reservoir and making sure that there's liquid in the system. Because, you know, yes. obviously, you know, it goes down over time. <clears throat> and, you know. I feel there's more points of error in a liquid-cooled... Uh, custom liquid-cooled system. 
I need to emphasize the custom. All in one liquid cooling is very easy. It depends on the setup that you have. Because yeah. If you do like the, if you do the cooling setups like I do, I do point to point, which is one point, one one uh, one connect to the next. Mm -hmm. You're reducing the amount of uh, fail points that you would end up having. Yeah. Most builds that I do see online, these guys like to use a lot of. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not to say I'm guilty of. I did it on one project, and I'm not going to say it didn't look bad, but there was so many more uh, fail points to it than if I would have just done one connection here and brought it over to here. Yeah. So, but a lot of guys like to use those 90s. Yep. Those metal that's 90s and just use yeah. straight tubes. For me, that's not super creative. Yeah. And it's again, like, that's right, point cool, of error. 90 straight, 90 straight, 90 straight. So all you're doing is just cutting a tube. This Is that really a custom loop? Yeah, yeah. I guess, but if you want a real custom loop, call me. Still missing comments, bro. What am I missing? I feel bad. Like, where do you, what, yeah, I see you're, you're true. Like, you're talking to everyone else. A nine out of ten sink of the original one's bed. Whoa, that's what I missed. I'm glad I missed that comment. I'm glad, it, man. No, you do you, man. You do you. Woo. No, thank you. Say no to old Sonic, please. Delete. I mean, I won't take any Sonic bed. No, no. Delete Sonic. I'm about to ra buy a ready to ship neuron. What monitor do you recommend that y'all carry? So we carry only a limited amount um, of monitors on our site. My recommendation, because there's a lot of sales right now, normally we don't do sales on monitors on our site, is to keep an eye on our monitor sales. Because um, I know there's a bunch of other retailers that do really good specials on monitors. And that would be my recommendation. I'm saying this as an employee. Don't kill me, people. I'm just saying this to be honest. You can probably get some good deals on monitors from other people. So, there you go. Thank you for the cheer. I appreciate it. Oh, man, I forgot to mention. <clears throat> so, this November, uh, this is actually our last November stream. I can't believe it. But any bits, uh, subs, or anything will go to the good people over at StackUp. Oh, I don't have their image here either. Let me pull up their website, though. We actually had a, our, um, what should we call it? We did a live build last week for StackUp for one of their veterans for their programs. And any subs, donations, or anything go to StackUp during the month of November. My bad. I feel bad now. But that's what we're doing for November. This is the last November stream, so... If you guys want to toss in a sub to help out the people over at SackUp, by all means, feel free to do so. You don't have to. It's just like, like a nice thing to do. I think they're a great organization. We've been working with them for a very long time now. But uh, you can take a look at their site here. Yeah, they work very closely with uh, veterans and have all these cool programs. The Veteran for is actually the one that we're helping out with them directly. They do so many cool things with veterans. And I think it's great. We're talking to uh, Stephen Machuga, Machuka, Machuga over here. He came over and we talked to him and he talked a lot about the organization and it's great. So shout out to Saka. Let me pull up the site here. Can't see it. There it is. Perfect. Go check him out. And if you do a donate, I thank you in advance because I expect something. Maybe something. One. <laughs> maybe. Or maybe bits. But thank you for the bits. Best budget CPU. Uh, 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 uh. I mean, there's a lot of budget CPUs. My recommendation, if you wanted to try to keep costs low but still get a pretty decent CPU, is to go with an Intel Core i5-9600 or an AMD Ryzen 5-3600. Or even the last-gen stuff, too. Be quiet. Dark Rock Pro 4 Noctua ND or NHD 15 can easily outperform an all-in-one cooler. Dude, you are 100% right. I love those. Those coolers are awesome. I think they're great. I really do. Corsair Razor. Roll the clip, man. Roll the clip. I hope that answered your question. <laughs> All right, let me catch up with the comments here. And the thing is, now I got in depth with the comments, and I'm behind again. So I need to catch up. I wish I'd sprung for a GPU that could fit within... Oh, thank you for the bits! Kevin, thank you, thank you very much. I wish I'd sprung for a GPU that could be fit at all in one since that actually hits ADC. It's 100% usage. I play for more. Really? Are you talking about a CPU or a GPU? That's weird. What CPU should I get if I want to stream? My graphics card is RTX. Your graphics card's great. If you want to stream, I'd probably go with the Ryzen 7 uh, 3700... Or 3700X or an Intel Core i7 9700 or 9700K. i7 and up. 
you don't need to go with an i9. I think it's a little bit too much for what you want to do. Because if you're going to stream and uh, play, I think the i7 or the Ryzen. I think maybe the Ryzen, but I like them both. They're good. Would it be better to push hot air out the top since heat rises? Um, Depends on the orientation that I have, but in this case, no. Totally fine. I mean, the majority yeah. of the time, eh. It no, also, in this also depends where you have your system too, right? Because mm -hmm. if you have like an enclosed area, then you want to figure out a way to get the hot air out of that enclosed area too. So, water cooling looks right every time. It doesn't ever do it because it looks white. Water and PC, just no. It is kind of scary. I know it scares me too. Hey, I'm not too perfect do, 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 over here do, do, when it comes do. to build. I've had some just explode right in my face after after it turning them on. It's oh, scary. look, man, it's running. Boom! Boom. Just yeah, blow up like, right on my face. It's like, oh, crap. So, Andrew, I know we do sell our liquid-cooled systems. Our support team is knowledgeable in terms of liquid-cooling uh, support. They're all very aware of maintenance for liquid-cooling, so people typically call for help, and they usually help out for it. that stuff. That's why they're there. 24-7 lifetime support. That's telling you. That's why it's there. If you build it yourself, your support is basically Reddit, forums, and YouTube. <laughs> Or the company itself. Not even the company. Sometimes liquid cooling places. I mean, normally they do. They offer tutorials and stuff online. But, yep. The wiring come, coming out real nice, PJ. Gotcha. Real nice. And you still have to do the fans, too. I'm doing the fans. Oh, you're doing them. Doing mm -hmm. the fans. That's what the uh, Corsair Hub and the Receiver is for. Where is it? I don't see it. Oh, there it is. It's in the corner. That's why. It's, I'm so used to it being on the left side. I know. I'm yeah. just playing around just... This actually seems much easier to have it set up over here. We cool? Are we? Need some double helix and bubble tubes and custom loops. I mean, they look cool. I don't know if I'd want one, but, you know. What, double helix? Or custom liquid tubing? That's not necessarily the trailer. I have i7, or I mean, a 7, 7 or Ryzen 7, 1700, and I'll soon upgrade to the 3600X. 3600X is awesome. Me, I'm still looking at the the 7s. So all the 7s. So Ryzen 7 or Intel i7. Hello, so I was playing games and I went to go fetch something to drink. When I came back, my screen was black and my GPU was off. No spinning fans. Does that mean my GPU is dead? Um, I mean, I don't know. Is Was the rest of the computer on? You have to do more investigations. I mean, that's kind of, like, I don't know. I feel like there's more to look into than that. Um, I wish I could offer more advice. It's just like I, that can be many things. So the quick answer would be yes, but I would just try to do more investigations and diagnosis to determine what happened. I like thirty six hundred X is about two thirty five. I think it's pretty good if you're Team Red, the winning team. We like them both here. There's no choosing sides at Origin. If you go to our site, you'll see that we do offer Intel, AMD, and NVIDIA components. So, do you get paid from us? I don't get paid anything. Everything you guys donate or subscribe or do anything Go straight. Goes to straight charity. for this in for the month of November. Everything goes straight to stack up. So, thank you very much. Any Cyber Monday deals? Oh no, he said the keyword PJ. Mm. He said the keyword deals. Yeah, he said deals. I'm sorry, guys. So for those who answered or put any questions after the or script, get ready. Get ready for the ride. Sellout mode engaged. Our Black Friday deals are now live. And as the person that helps put these together, I can tell you right now, these are pretty much final. This is it. This is the final stuff that's going on. This is the best of the best, friends. The best of the best. Why am I here? Get out of here. So, you're interested in an Origin PC. And you want to get a good deal. Guess what? This is it. Final. Because when December comes around, these are gone. If you get a system under $3,199, you get two bonuses, which I'll get to soon. If you spend over that number, you get three of these bonuses. The bonuses are... Whoa, are you getting free stuff for buying stuff? Yes, I know. It's crazy. Get out of here. And it's only for a limited time. And again, this is Black Friday and Cyber Monday. So when Cyber Monday comes around, it's going to be the same thing. Actually, what we're going to do, I'm not going to lie, this is going to change from Black Friday to Cyber Monday. That's what we're going to do. And it's going to be exactly the same. 50% discount on select RAM kits. Or a free $50 Origin PC Visa gift card. Or a free 250 gigabyte 970 EVO Plus NVMe M.2 SSD. That's a Samsung drive. Or 
a free Corsair Void Pro RGB wireless headset, or a free Corsair K55 RGB gaming keyboard and Corsair Harpoon RGB gaming mouse. If you want to learn more, actually click on the learn more and it tells you more about the bonus. But again, if you get a system that's under that number, you get two of these. You can pick which one, every one you want. If you get over that number, you can pick three. It's a pretty good deal. On top of that, you get free US drone ground shipping. If you get a Kronos or a Neuron, you get free RGB interior lighting. You get a digital copy of Remnant from the Ashes, which is awesome. A digital copy of My Friend Pedro, which is also awesome. And if you get a Ryzen CP, you get your choice. Or specific Ryzen CP, you get Border the Outer Worlds or Borderlands 3. If you get a uh, Radeon GP, you get your choice of Ghost Recon Breakpoint or Borderlands 3. There's more details behind these, but you can go check out the site. Um, there's 0% APR financing for six months. Again, I would not recommend this unless you're fully capable of doing so. But if you like this option, it's there for you. And of course, finally, our RTS systems are also available. These are actually really good builds, pre-configured, and they ship out really quickly because they're already made and tested. They're good to go. They're, all we have to do is put them in a box, put your name on it, and that's it. It's gone. And you can learn more at originpc.com. All right, I'm done. Oh, that is a mouthful. Who thought Black Friday was a good idea? <laughs> I'm sorry, now to catch up with the questions. Hopefully that answers that one. Okay. Origin PC one also gives support in EU. I'd love to buy PC for you guys. Uh, the world-class license. For, I don't want to get it then. Unfortunately, it's US-based right now. That's the plan. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. What about the 3200G? I cannot speak about that CPU. I don't have any personal experience. I haven't even looked at that CPU. But from what I've heard, it's okay. Okay. Wasn't Origin the choir Berkshire? Yes, that happened. What CPU should I get if I want to stream in my graphics card? I think I answered that. I mean, the Ryzen 7, anything Ryzen 7, current generation, third gen, or Intel Core 7, i7. Uh, doing great. Thank you over there. Uh, combining community ads are in your paycheck now. <laughs> hey, that's what the paper to my right says. Uh, I answered that question. Wait, what? Am I? I think I already answered all these questions. What's going on here? Is everything repeating? Oh no, I think my chat broke. Oh no. Give me a second, guys. I need to reset the chat. Everything is like going nuts over here. You guys broke my chat. It's a good problem. Any inside info you guys have on Intel GPU and what do you think will bring on the table? I have no insider information. But what I do know is that it most likely will be next year. And that's based on a bunch of articles and stuff that you could find online publicly. That's not based on any insider information. It's just, you know, what's online. Again, it's all rumor and speculation right now. But next year is most likely when Intel will unveil their uh, GPUs, which we're excited. You know, more stuff. So we'll see what Intel brings to the table on the graphics side. How you doing, PJ? I see you're focused over there. Yep. Any recommendations for a new budget GPU, or should I wait till next gen before buying it if I have the patience for it? I mean, what do you have now? And then I can answer that question. Tell me what you have, and I can answer your question. No, but really, what's the super secret deals coming on Monday? I just told you. We're going to change Black Friday to Cyber Monday, and it's going to be the exact same thing. And when come Monday, you're going to be like, oh, he wasn't kidding. So... Where do you guys ship to? We do ship uh, to multiple countries all around the world. I don't want to say worldwide because there are some countries we do not ship to. So it's China. We do not ship to China. Someone was actually actually asking us or that on uh, our social channels. We don't. Um, on our site, actually, I can show you. When you add your system to the cart, let me pull this up real quick. So I just added uh, this Neuron. You can select your country up here. And then it gives you the list of all the countries we can ship to. But of course, it changes the shipping prices. Let's say I say Australia. We have a lot of Australian customers. It changes all the shipping stuff, and you have to fill out all the information and all that fun stuff. So it even takes you to like a different page. So you got to take care of all that. So, And it also calculates the shipping costs and stuff. So it varies per country. Let me close that. Go back to the build. Hopefully, that answers that question. Do, 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 do. Dude, should I buy Gigabyte GeForce RTX 2080 Ti 11 Gigabyte AORS Extreme Water Force 
uh, WV. Um, do you need an RTX 20 Ti? I don't know. Is it a good deal? I don't know. It's like is it a want or a need. It's a want or a need. I mean, 20 Ti, fantastic card. I think it might be overkill for the majority of people. So, GTX 1063 goodbye. Oh man, if you can survive for a couple more months, I have again have unfounded knowledge. I do not know any information. This is a theory. I think new cards are coming out next year. I think. If you can survive with that 1060, because I'm in the same boat as you, actually. I have a 1066 gigabyte, and I'm debating on the GPU options for me. I'm I'm probably going to hold out for next year, for me, personally. So, Like, if I do a PC upgrade right now, I would only get the case, motherboard, all the major components, and not the GPU. The GPU, I'd just put in my current 1060 in and keep running that until a, a new GPU comes out. So... I don't know, man. I mean, if you're desperate, like, I mean, super desperate for a GPU upgrade, maybe try to get a RTX 2060, 2070, super, not super, doesn't matter. I know there's more performance out of super, but depends. Do you ship to New Zealand? I think it's on the list. Let me check for you real quick. I'm looking. Peach is actually almost wrapping up. Mm -hmm. Let me try my best to answer everyone's questions here. Oh, so website, why are you going so slow? I think because it's getting so many people are going to the website right now. That's why. New Zealand, are you on the list? Yes, it is. New Zealand's on the list, so we should ship there. Again, shipping cost. This is a fact. Shipping costs are pretty up there. I've seen them, and I know they're up there. And that's if you really, really want to get a system from us, because there's lots of... I mean, every country has different options. And I know that we're world-renowned for offering really high-end builds. Thank you. But, you know, you have to consider that shipping cost, too, for your build. Which Ryzen 7s are you looking at the 3700X specifically, in my case? I think 3700 is okay, but I like the 3700X. I'm not even looking at the 3800, to be honest. I feel like 3800 is... Eh. 3800x specifically like it looks cool but i don't want to spend that extra money i feel like i can use that money for you know ram or storage personal opinion great interaction with chat i hope origin is paying you well i think right i don't know <laughs> pj how about you are you doing good yeah yeah okay thank you gasa baroni ggx appreciate that i know i try my best to interact with uh all you guys on all the stream as long as you're not a jerk i love you it's pretty much the basics of uh the streaming stuff man if you're cool i'm cool with you so what's up guys follow you on twitter thought i would catch a stream well welcome unfortunately there's not too much time left so is PJ using anti-static electric gadgets? So we're in Miami. Lotion. You to, oh, you're using lotion today? Yeah. Okay. So he's using lotion. There's actually special anti-static lotion. Zero so. charge lotion. Cost the gallon is like a. Yeah, it's like, like you have like a tube. Bucks. You have like yeah. a tube of that stuff. No, I got a gallon. Yeah, it's like a giant thing. I got tired of the strap. Yeah, the strap. He's caged, like an animal. Free him. <laughs> PJ, <laughs> read this comment. I'm not going to read it out loud yet. I just want PJ to read this. This is for me. <laughs> Do you, Lewis? I don't have an undisclosed gambling problem. Like, if anything, I'm just paying a lot of bills. That's pretty much what it is. Well, you did purchase a new vehicle. I did purchase a new vehicle, and that is a huge, like impact on the nice budget chunk of change but i'm happy to pay that hunk of change I, I like my car a lot so and the car is something i use every day i mean i use my pc all the time too but it's kind of like an extra thing a car is kind of important so it's like i want those computer components but i need a car yeah because imagine that ultima i had uh, there's nothing wrong with that thing 
the AC was busted. So that's why you got a new car? Because your AC was busted? No, it's because everything else was getting busted too. I went to the repair shop. They're like, yeah, dude, this thing is about to burst. <laughs> it's like, oh, sh oh, shoot. That's no good. Better trade it in before they give me nothing for it. Yeah, pretty much. Sorry, dude. I did the same thing with my. I'm going to head out. Thanks for the stream. How much longer are we all? Honestly, we're not too long. We're almost done. Um, but thank you for tuning in. appreciate it. How much better is that than the 3600X? There's a bunch of benchmark benchmarks available online comparing all the AMD CPUs. Um, the reason I like the Ryzen 7 CPUs more than the 5s is because of the multitasking stuff. Like, I like having multiple things open at once, and if I ever want to do streaming on my end, I can use the 3700X. So it's like future-proofing in my case. If you do not care about multitasking, if you only care about gaming, the Ryzen 5 uh, 3rd Gen or Intel Core i5 are perfectly fine. If you're only gaming, like you don't have anything else in the, open in the background, maybe Discord or your browser, the 5s are fine. But I want to do more stuff in the future, so that's why I'm looking at the 7. All the 7s. So the gambling problem is disclosed then. Uh-huh. Everyone's poking fun at me in my low-end GPU. I'm going to cry. I'm going to go on new egg and cry. <laughs> Look at all these. <laughs> I heard that. I heard that on the mic. Wow. PJ, what do you got? You got those two 980s, right? Yeah. You happy with them? Yeah, but I wasn't. Uh, I'm not. I'm not trying to blow your <laughs> blow steam up your butt. I'm just trying to get this cable plugged in, and it's not uh, going in. Hence the oh lord. Many well, other things I, won't, I wanted to say. Many, many other things, but nice focus right now. PJ is incredible. I'm gonna change the camera over here so you can see what he's doing. He's trying to get the cable through. Do 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 do. I want to get a new PC with an i7 7700K or an 8700K, 16 gigabytes RAM. I mean, you can find them. I mean, I don't know if like. Like maybe there's people using those CPUs, maybe the 8700. But if you can find those parts, then by all means go for it. That's it. Those processors are still really good. I have a friend that has the 7700K, knocks it out. Awesome CPU. That's gonna last for another couple years. Thoughts on the new upcoming PS5 and Xbox Scarlet console family making moves on lower edge gaming PC? I think so. But the thing that the consoles will always lack is that upgradability factor. And that's the thing that PC will always have an edge over the consoles. Because if you wanted to get an upgrade on your Xbox, you have to essentially get rid of your old Xbox and get an Xbox One X. That's unfortunate. Um, with a PC, if you need to upgrade graphics, pop it out, get a new one, pop it back in. That's it. Unless you went cheap. <laughs> yeah, unless you went really cheap. But, you know, we don't talk about that. Normally, a uh, desktop build makes it pretty easy to replace the GPU. So... But I think it's great. I mean, more people are getting access to high-end gaming experiences around the world, which I think is fantastic. And with the advancements in games and, you know, I think it the hardware is always nice, but it's the games that really give you the reason. Because trust me, there's games out there that don't require all this power that people love. One of the big examples being Undertale. When that game came out on PC, you don't need, you only needed like an i3. You don't need that much power to run Undertale. And... Like, it got, it made, like, top of the list. People were calling it Game of the Year, and it's, like, a PC exclusive that did not need that much power. So, as long as there's good software that takes advantage of the hardware, there you go. So, I'm really interested to see the launch titles for both systems, actually. Because the Xbox, supposedly, is, like, the games that are coming out for Scarlet are still going to be playable on Xbox One X. So, I'm really curious to see how they're going to tackle that. And I don't mind the PlayStation either. So we'll see. Will it be worth it to upgrade to the RTX 2080S instead of the RTX 2080 or 2070 Super or should I just ride the 2070 Super until better cards emerge in the future? I guess 2070S will get the task done. Yeah, 2070 Super I think is perfect for gaming. Um, like I was mentioning earlier in the stream, uh, GPUs, are you can sell them pretty quickly because there will always be someone that wants your card. If you have a... Uh, 960, someone will want your card. Maybe they have like a 750 and they're like, I hate my 750. I want a 960. Someone will buy it. So, and there's a market for uh, GPUs. So, if you're or if you're okay with that, not a lot of people are, you know, down with the whole reselling stuff. So, 
Looking at your low-budget GPU, what do you think is better? RTX... No, no I mean uh, AMD RX 590 or GTX 1660. I think both are pretty solid. It's a matter of which one you want to buy. They're both really good. The last stream going from a 770 to a 5 is a nerve. I, I think the 536... And the thing is, the 5... I, I'm probably giving low credit or not much credit to the 5 CPUs. So I, I Ryzen 5, Intel Core i5. Um, I think they're great. I think they could probably handle streaming as well as gaming, but I haven't seen that performance firsthand, so I can't speak to it. So, hey, only got an RX 480. Who's slumming now? Hey. i5-9600K works for me with Discord or stream running in the background, but not very many high gaming when we're doing that. Do, do, do. Wish I can order a pizza while I'm a YouTuber or something. It's not that easy. So people always assume, this is a common thing. People are like, oh, if I go on YouTube or Twitch, I can try to get free PCs and stuff. It's not that easy. Um, Seema's been doing it for years and she has experience in that regard and a bunch of other people that uh, we made PCs. So Gassy Mexican is another one. Um, it's experience over years and that they're up there. So you got to work for it, man. It's not, you can't just do that. Personally, I would just like work hard, save up money and get the parts. But that's me. That That's just something that you have to like, kind of like grind for. And that's a hard grind. That's a really hard grind. It's not, it's not easy. You can do it. It's not easy. What's up, Origin PC new channel? Could you explain why someone would choose your PCs over like CyberPower or Digital Storm? Good question. Um, I know people sometimes ask that as well so one thing that we take pride in ourselves and time to go into sellout mode <laughs> sorry it's kind of like my thing all right let me jump over here really quick so we take pride in our support and our service so we have our lifetime support team available 24 7 they're based in the u.s they're not outsourced to other countries um they're based here in the u.s so they are here in that states let me mute pjs he's rumbling and it's available 365. So every single day, unfortunately, we have people working support tomorrow. It's just a reality, but they're well paid for it. It's, you know, to be available during, just in case something happens, you know, during Thanksgiving, you need support, someone's there. So we offer that. We offer lifetime service. So for whatever reason, you don't want to do an upgrade yourself. Uh, you can always send the system back. Of course, you have to pay for shipping, but our team will take care of it all for free because it's your system so they know how to work it um you can learn more at origin pcs i'm i think support is probably our killer thing and also the customization too one thing i like is it's pretty easy to get something together so let's say if i want to make a desktop really quick let's customize the neuron it's a pretty straightforward process i like that it's not like too in your face it's pretty seamless i think i'm biased i mean i use this thing all the time at work to try to, you know, put stuff together so it's pretty friendly. And again, our uh, sales team is also pretty helpful too. So I think it's the people. If you ask me, it's the people. Because the components are always going to be the same across the board. Like you're going to get a 2080 Ti from wherever, it's always going to be a 2080 Ti. But it's just that, you know, that's what we offer. I hope that best answer is the question. And I feel like maybe there could have been a better answer, but I hope I did it. I hope I tried. PJ, was that pretty good or meh? Yeah, it's me. Damn it. Ah, uh, back to the drawing board. All right, hopefully that answered that question. We Mid-top GPUs are cost of a new console, not a console gamer. I mean, you're right, but also note that GPUs are intended to last longer. I mean, consoles can also last pretty long. Um, that's a good point. That's a good point. You, you got a good point there. Um, the thing is, PCs will be more expensive than consoles. That's also a fact. Um, consoles make it easy to play high-end games. However, consoles restrict you in terms of the experience you receive. Playing Doom on an Xbox is not the same as playing Doom on a PC. And that's not just because of mouse and keyboard. It's because of the performance and all that technology going on behind the scenes. Um, well, I mean, he's just saying faster loading times and sense graphics, but the thing is the new consoles are going to feature SSDs. So you're and, getting a faster loading time. Yeah. Uh, the new consoles, not the current ones. Yeah. So 
I think that's great. I think it's fantastic. The consoles are moving to SSDs now. I'm glad we were able to do that on so. the big O. Yeah. Um, if you guys didn't see our big O, the one that we uh, sent to Unbox Therapy, we upgraded the storage drives on the PS4 and the Xbox Correct. to SSDs. Two and, terabyte SSDs yeah. each. And you, the performance is night and day. To load Forza takes like, what, 30 seconds, 15 seconds? Not even. I wasn't a game play. I wasn't a game playing it. And I went to switch cars. Now, even if you switch a car from one spot to the next, it will take maybe in between, a, I'll say, five to ten seconds. Yeah. It was literally instant. Oh, wow. As soon as That's I would cool. select the car, it was already putting me back on the map. Yeah. Xbox Charlotte will probably launch with the Forza. I think so. Forza's, Forza's solid. PJ loves his Forza. Don't, don't get him started. Forza on GTA. You know, that's his thing right don't there. Don't get me started. I'm do, guilty. Do, I haven't do, played do, GTA do, in a while. Do. Just built a PC with a Ryzen 5 2600 and an RTX 2070 Super. Thoughts on there? That's a great pairing. You're good, Justin. That's good to go. Enjoy it. Do, 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 do. First off, he's asking... You know, I, I see your thing, Wayne. I don't know. Did someone write something on Facebook that I missed? Probably. I'm sorry. If I missed your um, question, I had to reset the chat. So type it again. Don't worry if you feel like you're, I mean, don't spam it like five billion times. If I if I didn't answer it, just repost it again and I'll try to read it. Do 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 do. I'll take one free PC, please. I'll take one too. Okay, here's the question. Will an EATX motherboard fit in the Millennium case? Good question. A what? EATX, like the really big motherboards, like the f like the really really big ones. No. Um, I think it fits in the Genesis though, right? Nope. No. It won't fit in the Prime case because then it starts to obstruct where the power supply shroud is. But we do. Okay, so we do offer EATX motherboards with our professional systems. Though. Yes, it'll be in a bigger. It'll be in a. In a w there's um, cases that we provide that will support that. Well, I'm gonna show you right now. For this is an EATX case, so and that's more for professionals, if anything, too. Give me a quick second here, and I'll show you. Do do do. I think it's the Fractal Meshify S2 that supports it. I think, maybe. I think, or is it the C? I can't remember. Let oh, and if you thought she had a cute little storage drive that was just gonna hold a small amount of storage, that's 12 terabytes. Let's just. That's a big drive. So we have the SSD and the ter and the 12 terabytes. Yes, the SS. There's an M.2 NVMe yeah, M.2 on the motherboard for the OS. And this is just simply for hold on storage. I'm looking right now for you for the e I'm looking at the EATX squad. We used to though. What happened? It's not on the uh, pro. It's not. No, I'm surprised. I like, I I, rem I distinctly remember. I work closely with the parts behind the scenes and stuff, so I usually am informed with the stuff. It's not on there. Unfortunately, no. I'm shocked. I we used to. So one thing I can say is we used to, but not right now. That's a bummer. Sorry about that. So EATX won't fit. That PJ just confirmed that. So, but the thing is, we used to offer other cases on the professional side that uh, supported EATX, but not anymore. We used to. We used to. Hey guys, I have a question. So I'm building my first PC, and I was going to buy an RX 590, but someone offered to sell me a 980 Ti second half for two hundred dollars. Assuming it works, is it worth to buy the 980? Right now in this year, I paid. I think I paid like one fifty for my nine eighty. I mean, that's not a bad price, but also remember you're buying a secondhand part. Correct. Um, so you can't, you know, expect the unexpected if something goes wrong. Yeah, that's my concern with secondhand parts. Like, I love the idea of secondhand parts. I think it's great. You get parts like. It's really the luck of the cards. draw, to be honest with you. Sometimes yeah. you might, you might. You might, well, you know, you might make out too. like a bandit, you know what I mean? And get the part that you need, and it still works fantastic, and it's optimum. That means whoever had it prior to you really took care of it. Or you just have the other one that maybe just somebody just let their entire system collect dust, and it overheated, yeah. and went bad. And so currently, right now, uh, people are pricing the 980 Ti around 480 I think still think that's a little much. That's new, by the way. Um, so that means used is probably half that price. Ah, oh, man, that's a tough call. The thing is, the 980 Ti is still a very good card. Mm -hmm. um, I'm looking. I mean, according to user benchmark, because again, user benchmark is not 100% reliable, but it gives you a good idea of performance. It is more powerful than the 590, according to the stats here. Um, on the user benchmarks or whatever that people submitted, it's ranked 34 out of 626 graphics cards. So it's still a very good card. Um, Actually, I'm looking at it here. 
So we actually, I'll put it up for you right now. This is a I'm doing it first just for you. Hold on, a quick second here. I, I see PJ's doing it. But look, look at this. This is userbenchmark.com. This is a good way to. It's, a, it's not a, again surefire, but it's a good idea of like where the GPU stands. So, I mean, I think it looks pretty good. Again, it's just a roll of the die. You got to be careful. So, 200 is not bad. I mean, I don't know. I mean, maybe I, maybe it's just me. I try to haggle a little bit more, but that's a good price. I don't know. I would also confirm how much the person uses, like how many hours they use that GPU. I know that really doesn't really matter, but just to get an idea of the, um, the GPU itself. So, all right, let me get out of that. Back to the other question. Let me catch up really quickly here because PJ's done. I'm just yapping away. Gotta put the panel on and then. Da, 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 da. I can't remember the lines we test an origin, a bunch of organ, origin. I think we did okay, but the thing is, he did criticize our Chrono system, rightfully so. So, we did get some criticism from Linus. But we're working on it behind the scenes. I think we did a lot of improvements too, based on that uh, feedback. So. Yep, immediately. Yeah, that was almost me. Like everyone here was like, "What?" So we jumped on that and we made improvements. All the ASAP. corrections are made. Those things are solid. Yeah. Um. Consoles are going to feature SSDs, laughs in NVMe. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Preaching to the choir. <laughs> Does he have a cockpit to play for? You don't have a driving rig, do you? No. Huh? You play with a controller. I play with a controller. Yeah, he plays a controller. The only way I would switch to a steering wheel is if Thrustmaster gave me one. <laughs> if, is the AMD RX 5700 XT worth it? People really like that card. Um, I don't have any personal experience with it. I have not used it internally, um, but people really, really like it. If you don't really care uh, care about like ray tracing, I think is I, that card should be able to support it. I honestly believe it should be able to support it. Um, it's just a matter of the, you know, they can get developers to support that. All right, let me, let me get some drills going on over here. All right, all right. Is i7-9700 a good CPU for streaming and gaming? Or should I get an i9? i7 is great. I think it's great. Just, you know, keep an eye on temperature. It's honestly perfectly fine. i9, I feel like the i9 is extremely it's way too much, though. I think it's personal opinion. Personal opinion. I think the i9 is way too much for at least an average consumer. Um, gaming and streaming? Maybe if you go with a 9700K, that's for sure. You're locked. You're locked in that. But 9700, I th you could try to get a good deal on 9700K. Now, that for sure, I can confidently say. 9700K? 9700? No, no, no. Why should I get an Origin PC instead of building my own? You get the full service and support. You get the professional build quality. Um, it's you're, you're well taken care of. That's pretty much the comfort. And a lot of people that jump on here, they usually say like they build PCs for years, but the reason they went with us is because that way they don't have they have peace of mind, um, and they don't have to worry about it. But a ton of people still jump on here, and they're very proud of building your computers. And I congratulate every single one of them, because mm -hmm. it is always a mission to do that. And when you do it successfully, it's something you can, you know taking some pride. If you've never built a PC before, I would actually say do that first. And then you can appreciate when you get an Origin PC. Am I right, PJ? Yeah, you might like it. I mean, Who you knows? might like you it. might actually fall for it. Like fall into the butt, get the catch the bug and be like, you know, dude, PC building is something I really enjoy doing. Yeah. So, hopefully that answered that question. I mean, that's an honest answer. I mean, the the fake answer would be like, "No, you have to buy Origin PC or else I will look I wouldn't down. listen to Lewis when he starts talking all demonic. No. Nope. Not listening. By Origin PC. You're scaring me. During the holidays. Oh, God. Or I will come to your house. Oh, he's going to come to my house. And beat you in quick champions. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, no. You're scaring me. It's about that time. <laughs> it's about that time. You're scaring me with a K. Uh, I am. It's about that time. PC Part Picker is your friend. It is an. I love that website. I know. I work at Origin. PC Part Picker is an awesome website. I think it's fantastic. I'm so excited to see the side panel. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. I think we already had it on screen for a little bit there, but oh no, there it is. Hey. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Rewind the clip. Uh, PJ is now. You, you embarrassed PJ. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm trying so hard to keep it all discreet.
Dun, 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 dun. Any safe place to get used parts, but from uh, Canada? Yeah, I don't know. I can't really answer that one. Maybe check from eBay sellers in Canada? I don't know. And eBay, eBay is a risky place, too. Did you see what the people at Crytek are trying to do with the ray tracing? Yeah, I saw that. I think it's great. Buy it from NCIX. Rip in peace. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. I want to get it as 104 horns with three sinks. There you go. Wait, who's who needs what? I'm trying to keep track of like who's saying what in the chat. Cause I'm like, wait, who, who, what, where? Question for all. Oh, that's everyone. I'm I'm catching up, guys. Don't worry, I'm catching up. What is a minimum GPU do you think a laptop should have for gaming today? Uh, mainly playing League of Legends, but I want to handle Monster Hunter World without stuttering. Uh, you can go with a laptop with a 1660. You're fine. I think you're fine with a 1660. I know there's several deals out right now for actually laptops with a 1660 Ti. Um, my recommendation, if you do get a laptop from other people, not us, which I understand, you know, our laptops are a little up there, but a 1660 Ti or 1660 should be good to go. And I know AMD has their own... Um, there are laptops with AMD, CPU, and GPU inside. So, but 1660 Ti or the, oh man, I can't remember the laptop GPU name. Someone could probably jump in the chat and tell me, but yeah, AMD does have laptop GPUs too. If I get an i7-8700K, what is a good all-in-one to go with it? Honestly, anything. There's so many out there. Corsair are pretty good. I mean, bias, but you know, Corsair. We can also go with um, fan cooling if you like that, but if you're going all in one, you already know what you want. My dual PC setup uses 8700Ks and works great. Have zero issues so far. Awesome. Is he Dr. Claw from Inspector Gadget? <laughs> Everyone's laughing about my my evil voice. I saw it. He tried to keep it secret. I find it ironic the Origin PC Twitter is bashing people on building own PCs that they're owned by a company. So I don't run the Twitter. That's the social team. I try to be more, you know, inclusive to everyone here because I know everyone here in the chat, they're not all of you guys. Like, I think like probably 80 something percent of you probably build your own or whatever. I like being inclusive in the PC community. As long as you game on PC, I'm cool with you. If you're playing consoles, you're cool too. Just you, you want to know more about PC gaming. That's great. Oh damn! So, so if I got a console, you won't, you don't, you don't. You, I'm not cool with you. I am. I just said you're cool. You said if I own a PC, you're cool with me. You're you're like a little cool. Wow. I guess. Wow. And we'll All play right. a little Tetris. We'll I mean, play some Tetris. I'll, I'll, I'll destroy you in Tetris. What? PJ. Them's fighting words. Dude, <laughs> you talking like that it makes me want to run. Like, <laughs> that way. So there's a few games. This is something a fun fact about me. There's a few games you cannot beat me in. One of them is Quake, unless you've played Quake for years, and you can probably beat me in Quake. The other one is Tetris. Those two Tetris games. Those two games, I can most confidently beat the majority of people. Not esports players. I cannot beat esports players. It cannot happen. But Joe Schmoes, anyone's plain James. I don't care. Quake and Tetris. Time and date. I'll be there. Do, do, do. To be honest, I'm not a big fan of the Origin PC case that they use. I like the MATX Corsair cases. It's like sleeker. It's an opinion. I know for me, I prefer the Millennium out of all of our cases. Because I know we have the Kronos and Neuron, but I like the Millennium the most. I'm assuming Origin is an American originated company. You're correct. Do, 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 What do you think about external GPU docs like the Razor Core X? I think it's really interesting. Um, if anything, it gives more life to laptops. Super clean job, Mr. Technician. Also known as PJ. Look at that. The camera's tilted. Uh, yeah. Mm. Right there? A little better. RGB doubles performance, and that's facts. It's true. Here you go, love. What does Orchard recommend for Here cooling their laptops? Here you go. I used to put my laptop over a tupperware of ice. Oh, look, there's the the side panel. Hey. 
we really like this side panel here at the office. When I saw it, I'm like, that is so cool. Um, can you get a little closer to it or no? I don't want to. <sighs> PG, you better get a little closer to the panel. All right, go ahead. There you go. There you go. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, Nick, if you just want to send that piece, just uh, DM on Twitch, I'll pop it open. Just send me the whisper. I'll be more than happy to do that. Because the reason we don't put links on here is because, you know, links are bad. Do, 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 do. All right, I'm catching up with the comments so we can catch up to everyone's reactions. Next stream, a Tetris off between them. GGPJ. That is it. All the, the emotes are coming in real. Ow. Thank you, everyone. I think I see everyone's feedback. It's fantastic. It's great. Will you guys make a Cybertruck PC case? I hear PJ laughing. Shut up, PJ. I don't even want to begin to put my give you my, my thoughts on that truck. <laughs> I swear I'm watching it. I'm sorry. I went back and watched Total Recall. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna jump in with Johnny Cab, dude. Yeah, man. Welcome to Johnny Cab. All right, TJ over on YouTube. I currently have an R7 1700 at 3 8 with the upgrade to 3700X or 3900X. So Is he big enough to upgrade or should I wait for 7? I would say, dude, 1700 is still really good right now. I would wait to see what's up in 2020. Unless if you're really comfortable with the price points that are available right now for those CPUs, because it's obviously, you know, holiday season. So prices are going down. Um, I think it's a good upgrade, but if you want the best, I would probably save that money and wait for the future. But that's my opinion, because the thing is, that, again, Ryzen is great. I think uh, AMD Ryzen CPUs are fantastic. That's again, that's my opinion. You can don't completely ignore what I just said. Totally understand. Oh, da, 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 da. do you know when the 1080 Ti is actually worth it? Then um, I think it's still worth it. It's still a really good CPU. Oh, so so is EDATX? Maybe. Hold on. Maybe I'm looking in the wrong place. What's going on here? Did I mess up? PJ, you're giving me false information. About what? Yeah, you are. About what? The motherboard. I didn't give you false information about Yeah, we do have EATX support. What? Yeah, it's right here. Man, PJ giving me false information. Look at that. Look at that right there on the screen, people. Where is it? That's not transitioning. There you go. Right there. Look. Look at that. I don't want to look at anything. Look, 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 look. What is that? Your life is what does that say? Wrong, right? what, 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 what is that? I don't know. I can't read Thank you, RVS300Z, for proving a point. Thank you. I can't look read that. microscopic. It's right there. It You're says it right, right there. there. Wow. But there you go. We do support EATX. PJ was wrong. I told you we support EATX. And I was wrong for following PJ's advice. What a fool. I knew I was. I knew it. I knew it. I completely knew it. I had a feeling because I remember I saw it the other day. I'm like, what do you mean it's not there? There you go. Thank you so much. Are you any good at CS? Eh, man, I'm, I'm rusty. I haven't played CS in, in a while. I still have it installed, but I don't really play it that much. Do, 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 do. I'm sad all, all my computer was... I'm sorry. Whispers are disabled. Oh, really? Uh, I'm trying to think of a way you can send that link. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, Twitter DM. Just send a Twitter DM. I'm on Twitter right now, so you can just send a Twitter DM, and I will be more than happy to look at that real quick. Just say, this is for the stream, and then post the link. I'll be there looking at it. Do it. I'm right here. I'm looking at the Twitter DMs. If y'all want to send Twitter DMs and bother the social team. <laughs> <laughs> and the social teams are like, no, don't do it. Don't send Twitter DMs. Just gotta, I think he has to follow us, and you can send a Twitter DM. So, Team Red is the place to be. I like Team Blue, too. I like them both. They're both great. Don't follow teams. Go with performance from dollar. There you go. Oh, I think. Oh, I got the link. There you go. You don't have to send the DM. I got it. What? You good? Yeah. Good. All right. I'm just gonna answer questions for a little bit more here, and then we are out of here. Um, Nick, let me see here. 9400F. Honestly, that's not a bad build. I mean, maybe, maybe you could try to find a better deal on the CPU. Because you could probably get a 9500K, uh, I think. Get Everything else is fine. Keep an eye out for CPU deals. 
That'd be my advice. Everything else is perfectly fine. Yeah, just keep an eye for those deals. I mean, we can maybe also beef up the motherboard if you can get a good deal on motherboard. That's a fine motherboard, too. So, that'd be my advice. Keep an eye for better deals on CPU and the mother. Everything else, totally fine. Hopefully, that answers that. Uh, are you excited for <laughs> exit? Are you excited for Diablo 4? I am. Looks really interesting. I like that it's more of like a shared world kind of thing, like Destiny. So, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. don't worry, Nick. I got your your link. You're good. CS so got new operation with the Fortnite Battle Pass ride. Looks better. It looks cool. Update nonetheless. Oh, that's right. They did release a giant CSGO update. I haven't really seen that. Do, 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 do. I mean, I'm, everyone's going ham with the questions today. I appreciate all the questions. I'm just trying to answer everyone. I'm trying to position 16 the TI in my computer. It needs an 8 pin power. PSU is a bit old. 4 pin. Not recommended. It is not recommended to use an adapter. My recommendation actually would to get a new PSU. Because if you do that, you're running a risk of messing everything up. I would definitely, definitely avoid using an adapter. And that's, you know, just safe advice in general. Try to avoid that. I think there's a lot of good PS, uh, power supply deals right now, so this is a perfect time to get one. Uh, do, do, do. How hard do you think Sadie is going to hurt PC makers? I'm going to skip that question. <laughs> Are you done making PC with T-Series? No, what, what? No? I don't know. I don't know what the... Dodge the laptop cooling questions. Oh, no, no. Uh, oh, did, did, I thought I answered... Oh, I missed it. So the laptop cooling, we don't, we don't have anything that we 100% recommend yet. I mean, now we don't 100% recommend. I know the support team probably has some ideas, but I mean, that Amazon and Neo, I could probably find a bunch of uh, laptop cooler options. It's just there's none that off the top of my head that I can 100% recommend. Uh, da, 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 da. Are you going to make a PC with tea tree sink theme and donut? Oh, no, I see. Okay, there you go. You reworded that. That's better. Um, I mean, not right now. We have a bunch of other projects we're working right now. <laughs> Skipping Stadia question. Hey, man. Whew. Okay, I'm done. Yeah, I feel I'm going on. I feel like uh, I've been talking nonstop. For, PJ already left the room. He's not even in here. He didn't even say bye. Dang. All right. Ah, see him. I'm so glad you're in the chat, just chatting it up and uh, posting pictures of you and Freddie Prince Jr. Just to prove a point. I appreciate that so much. I'm trying to put PJ in his place. It's like, oh no. But uh, glad that um, you're part of the live build, put this PC together, and hope to send it to you very soon. we got to do the integration process and all that stuff. But uh, greatly appreciate you and um, the Samly here for sticking around. And uh, welcome to the Origin PC family. Um, again, if you have anything, just reach out to us. We'll take care of it. Um, as for everyone else, um, thank you for all the questions. I tried my best to answer everyone's questions. It's kind of hard because everyone's been awesome with the questions today. More than normal. But everyone have a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday break slash Black Friday, et cetera, et cetera. Um, have a great rest of the holiday. I don't. I think this might be one of the few last streams we're going to do for the year, actually. We're probably going to do some streams in December. I think we might stream Halo Reach on Tuesday, I think, um, just to showcase the game on PC. Um, that's, I mean, that's pretty much it. All right. So before I go, I have to, it's mandated that I have to do this. So I have to go to the website and talk to you guys about Black Friday because it's here. If you want to leave, by all means go. But if you're interested, <laughs> if you're interested, here we go. Origin C. What, what was that? Who was that? Origin PC Black Friday deals are now live. What? My voice is shot, man. I can't do that anymore. I'm done. <clears throat> Anyways, our Black Friday deals are now live at OriginPC.com. We're not changing anything. This is it. I am about to go home. This is it for the weekend. <laughs> like, if you think something's going to change, I'm going to be at home. I'm not changing anything. So, <laughs> okay, Satan, I will buy. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you can check out all the deals at OriginPC.com. So the this year, what we're doing is if you spend a certain amount of money on your system, you can get a certain amount of bonuses with your Origin PC. If you get under 3199 with your system, probably thinking, wow, that's a lot of money. I'll 
sometimes if you get that 2080 Ti and i9 9900K, can, price can go up pretty quick. Uh, you can get two bonuses. So the bonuses include, I'm going to go with the bonuses and talk about the pick three, a $50 discount on select RAM kits, a, or a free $50 Origin PC Visa gift card, or a free 250 gigabyte 970 EVO Plus NVMe M.2 SSD, or a free Corsair Void Pro RGB wireless headset, or a free Corsair K55 RGB gaming keyboard and Corsair Harpoon RGB gaming mouse. And if you get spent over this magic number, you get three. It's pretty cool. Again, this is the best, best, best thing. I work on these promotions the entire year. This is the best like promotion we're offering for the year. I can 100% confirm that. And you can probably look behind. Maybe we had some good offers earlier in the year, but this is easily one of the best because we're giving you multiple options. Actually, if you're enterprising enough, you can actually choose all gift cards if you wanted. We, this is the first time we've actually included that option, so you can do that if you want. Uh, you also get free US ground shipping, free interior lighting, or free RGB interior lighting for Cronus or Neuron desktops. Uh, digital copy of Remnant from the Ashes, which is an awesome game. You can go check out on Steam as well. It's on sale. Uh, digital copy of My From Pedro, also on sale on Steam. Go check it out. But if you get our systems, you get those games. So, hey, nice bonus. And again, you can get the Outer Worlds, Borderlands 3, or Ghost Recon Breakpoint with AMD hardware. So if you get a Ryzen, you get your choice of Outer Worlds or Borderlands 3. If you get a Radeon GPU, the 5700 XT, you get your choice of Breakpoint or Borderlands 3. And three months of Xbox Game Pass for PC with both. And of course, our six month 0% APR financing is also available. Again, I only recommend this if you are capable of doing so. Don't do it if you can't pay it. Um, if you're interested in this option, this is only available during this time frame. So yeah, uh, check that out as well on the site. And finally, our RTS systems have gotten an upgrade. We are offering excellent builds at pre-configured um, setups and price points. So if these builds speak to you and you really like the whole origin PC experience, the professional build, 24 7 support all the service in the world and just an overall good pc experience i don't know a good pc experience amazing pc experience these systems are good to go so you don't have to configure anything you just pick it right there by now Bloop. done um yeah all right i see some questions here on here let me answer them really quickly hold on let me see I will try to let me jump over to the main page and then answer your questions. Nice, you make my day with Steven Seagal sound. <laughs> PJ, where are you? Um, are the keyboard or mouse mechanical? So the mouse, there's I, I don't think there's such a thing as the uh, mechanical mouse, is there? But the keyboard is I don't think it's mechanical. It's this one. Let me pull it up for you. Do, 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 this one this is the keyboard um yeah they don't refer to it as mechanicals this is just like a pretty standard keyboard um but yeah you can learn more actually on corsair's website if you're curious the mouse is this one actually i won this mouse for halloween i haven't used it yet though it's this one it's got rgb so and I think the programmability features too. It's got the two side buttons, the DPI switcher. So, yep. Um, so that's it for that. Any more questions? How long until the black and tear cases come in? Which I think, yeah, we're. I think our team was talking about that. I think that's for the millennium, right? Are talking about the millennium? Interior, interior, interior. Yeah, yeah. Those, yeah, yeah. We're still not. We're still out. Unfortunately, there's a shortage. So. Yeah, I don't have any good time frame. This is honestly the best answer, unfortunately. The black is very popular around these parts. Let me tell you, black on black. Colors, exterior, interior, black. Is there a convenient way to get the latest firmware buyers for a computer forever? Not really. It depends on the motherboard and the uh, hardware in your computer. When will GPU water cooling be available on the site? It is. Um... Let me configure a system really quickly here. So you ha what you have to do is pick um, Cryogenic or Corsair. This is the Millennium. You pick Hydro Stage 1. Hold on. Why is it not updating? I had this problem too. If anything, contact the sales team because I think it might be a bug. So like, let me pick that. No. Hold on. It's got to be related to the configuration. So give me a second. Let me pick this motherboard. Pick that. 
Okay, good. Yeah, double check your configuration. There, I got it to work. You have to double check the uh, motherboard, make sure the cooling is uh, hydro or cryogenic, and then the GPU cooling options should be available. Hopefully that answers that. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. Are the PCs upgrade friendly? Yes. That's one thing we like about our computer designs is it's pretty easy to upgrade the RAM, GPU. You can do other changes as well if you need to. You can also add a storage drives if you need to. Um, the, the side panels are pretty easy to open. So the Kronos is the tricky one, but our support team can walk you through it. Uh, planning on opening spread to South Africa? Not at this time. Thanks. You guys are awesome. Oh, hey, you're the one. Thanks. Oh, that's it. All right. I'm done. So you guys already know the spiel. Black Friday, up and running right now. Um, I know CM and the family probably headed out already. As you're still here. Thank you for still being here. I just wanted to answer all the questions about Black Friday since this is pretty much the only time I can talk to you guys directly about Black Friday. It will be running until it's over, but it will be running until Cyber Monday. So if you're interested, like I said before, if you want the best deals on an Origin PC to get like the most extras or whatever, this is the best time. Um, we do have those financing options available. Um, again, only do so if you can do it. If you can't do it, don't do it. Please don't put yourself into the financial hole. Um, and that's it. Oof, man, I'm tired. All right, guys, thank you so much. Um, have a wonderful Thanksgiving break, and I will see you next time, which I think might be Tuesday. So, yeah. Thank you, CM. Thank you, family. Thank you, everyone else, for tuning in. Have a good one.